Hey, Mola. Hello, welcome back again to another stream on the God Logic Apologetics channel. I'm your host, Avery Austin Jr., with my co host, Chris Claus, the A Man Podcast, and Life from Defund the Devil itself. Welcome, gentlemen. Would you like to say hello to our uh, fellow streamers? Welcome. Hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Good stream. Morning, guys. Good day, everyone. Excellent, excellent. We have such a treat for all of you today. Um, we had a nice little room uh, going uh, against Islam and slavery, uh, ver you know, how it talks about it in Islam versus slavery in the Bible. Uh, and afterwards, the Muslims started up a room complaining and crying and uh, really attacking other Muslims for engaging in the discussion with us. So we have that room. They replayed it for the public to see. So the replays were on. And so it's fair use. And we're going to take a look at uh, what they were saying in this room uh, and how they were attacking even each other for even joining. So let's go ahead and get this started. It's God. It's God. It's God. All right, so we got the uh, the screen up here. Where is it? Right here. There it is. Huh, I actually like that better. We're moving all those others off the screen. <laughs> 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 uh, but I'm not going to be like that. I'm not going to be like that. I'm not going to be like that. So right here, guys, we have the room. Um, if, as you can see, it is titled. Can I zoom in? Oh, there. Yeah, there I'm surprised go. they even enabled the replays for this. That's crazy. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I'm surprised that they haven't turned the replays off yet. Like, I, I'm, I'm shocked they had the replays on for that room. Matter of fact, they kept trying to say... Um, you know, let's let's do this in a private and stuff like that. But they just couldn't they just couldn't hold themselves. And so as as we always say, man, these Muslims, the Dawah teams around the world are a gift that continuously gives. They just keep giving. And here is a gift for us to to, to kind of go over and laugh at and um, and have fun with, man. Um First, but first, like thoughts on uh, thoughts on the stream uh, yesterday, um, with the conversation, guys. The thoughts on how that went. <laughs> well, like I said, like I said, so the timer <laughs> that you set up <laughs> got a little tongue twister, man. Look, the timer that you set up, right, was perfect. Um, the Muslim X Planet and the other guy, you know. They were in there early. Um, they got there before me. I was actually surprised that X Planet was even in the room. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you set up a timer. Everything was all good. Everybody was okay with it. Um, the start of it was cool. Uh, we had we rough we you know ruffled some feathers with with X Planet a little bit, but because we were speaking about Christianity, it it didn't transpire into anything crazy. It was, mm -hmm. okay, look, we're having a conversation. We're talking to you about scriptures. You're going into Deuteronomy and Leviticus about slavery. Okay, cool, but we're cutting him up and getting him uh, responses that that would basically tear down his entire argument. Yeah. And, of course, him being Muslim and him being himself, uh, he doesn't want to receive it. He wants to be as deceitful as he possibly <laughs> could, which is the reason why we couldn't even get him to answer that question early on, which was, does this refute your idea that you brought up uh, early on? And he couldn't even answer it. He said no, even though within the verse itself, it actually does refute that. And then later yeah. on, when we, when we decided to say, you know what, let's just move on from that. And then he, then he wanted to go, okay, fine. If it, I, I'll admit, it does say what you got. And I told him, I said, no, it's too late for that. Yeah. And so then yeah. that wasted about 15 minutes of the entire conversation. Okay. The 15 minutes was cool talked about Christianity, everyone was calm. Soon as we go over to Islam, all hell broke loose. Yep. All hell broke loose. You, you got screaming, you got yelling, X-Planet couldn't control himself. He starts uh, 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 complaining to the Muslim mod who wasn't doing it, who well, quote unquote wasn't doing anything. And he started to act like he was being treated unjust and unfair. And it's just like, yo, if you watch that stream, you'll see when it was on the Christians, we were cool. 
But then as yeah. soon as it became to the Muslims, oh, Muslims, Muslims didn't have time. Right. Somebody All of a sudden, they didn't have time to stay and talk. Yeah. Uh, 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 who said, who was it? A, I think A. Oh, I'm dealing with my family right now. Oh, but you have time HK. to make an argument. That, that oh, HK. HK. That, that HK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have time to respond and make a quick argument, but you don't have time to listen to a response and talk mm -hmm. about Islam. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, I'm dealing with my family. Then da uh, Dapper Boy goes, what are you going to say? Oh, I don't have time for this. Okay, but you sat here the entire time for the Christian debate, but then right. as soon as it, as soon as it, soon as it went to Islam, oh, I don't have time for this. But then went to the audience and sat the in the listen. audience the entire time. <laughs> but you don't have time for this. So it was it was just amazing. And X Planet, we know X. He just would not shut up. He yeah. wouldn't he wouldn't stop talking, and he got himself uh, removed to the audience about three four times. So yeah. it was uh, yeah. it was crazy. Yeah, that 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 joint was hilarious, man. I was I was listening to it in my car. I was gonna join, but I saw we had we had Scott, you, Chris, all you guys up there. I was like, nah, they're gonna get destroyed, bro. I don't even have to join. So I was listening to it, man. And what killed me was when <laughs> like I said, I, I couldn't see my phone. So I was driving. What was funny was all I heard was like it was quiet for a minute, and people started like, oh and so I was all like, did somebody just move Avery down? And then somebody was like, uh, oh, yeah, my, my phone glitching, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, yeah. it, it just ended. I was, like, ended, <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on. I was like, what just happened? Yo, um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Pro-Life Chloe. Thank you so much. She says, based title and panel. Uh, she's for sure not from the West Coast. <laughs> um, but, yeah, thank you so much, sister. I appreciate you. Um, and God bless everyone in the chat joining. Guys, leave, leave a like on the on the stream, man. We have a treat for you guys. Like I said, we're going to be going in and in, in, into the uh, the uh, the hive of the Muslim the Muslims on Clubhouse and how they control their people and and huddle up to tell them not to engage with Christians at all. And if you do, you are among them. You are a hypocrite. You are a liar and all these kind of things. Uh, it, you guys, I can't wait for you guys to see this. But uh, yeah, Amen Podcast, you, you, you wasn't, you wasn't, uh, I wish you could have took part in the discussion yesterday, uh, but you said you, you saw it for a little, you were listening for a little while. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. I, 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 I like got I, a couple of blow. <laughs> yeah, I, I really wanted to join, especially when, I don't know who it was. I think it might have been X Planet, but when he was like, um, slavery in the Bible was based on race, and I was like, how is it going to be based on race when everybody look exactly the same, and you can't even provide any text within the Bible Man. that proves that is race based? I'm Man. like, you realize we're just going to debunk this in like two seconds and make you look yeah. ridiculous. But yeah. but you guys did a great job. So great job. Appreciate guys. it. And thank you, brother Scott Hughes. Uh, he says, "Let's go!" <laughs> yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go, ahead. let's go ahead and put them on, man. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, please, can you start this program on Clubhouse? No, I cannot. I can't start this program on Clubhouse. This, I can only do this on the stream, unfortunately. Um, so, but yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and get this going. Uh, guys, tell me if there's an echo, because I'm going to try to leave my mic unmuted and see how that works. Okay. Y'all let me know how it sounds. Gotcha. All right. Okay. So let's get this here. Muslims co-modding with Islam's mockers are hypocrites. All right. Um, what is going on here? You got a gin in your computer, bro. I promise you it was working just fine. Uh, you, uh, you probably shared the screen and forgot to click share audio. That doesn't, it, it's automatic. Yeah, it's automatic in the one tab. Oh. Bro, what in the world is going on, man? I mean, oh, there you go. Honestly, I, I don't, I don't like. Hey, hey remute. Basically, mute, uh, you got an echo. All right. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'll be uh, muting my mic and then going on and off, going on and off. All right. So I mean, before you mute, you might as well go back to the chat 
you got a couple shout outs before we start oh i do you do i i, I don't want to let them go oh of course of course so we got in a uh Odessa again. Welcome. <laughs> Mosh Yeshua listening from work. Awesome. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you so much for your donation. I appreciate you and your support for the channel. And uh, we got Kai in the house. <laughs> Salam al Masi. Now that is the right greeting right there, brother. Salam al Masi. Salam al Masi. Yes, Mosh Yeshua. Um, brothers and sisters, Muslims are advertising fifty dollar, fifty dollar uh, grant 50, to 50, 50, oh, 50 grand to disprove Quran is not the word of Allah. Everyone should take them on that offer, <laughs> and if they deny the reward by the criteria they hold, they should be legally taken to court. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is hilarious. You're absolutely right. Once we uh, meet the challenge, we can sue if they decide not to pay up. Absolutely. Oh, also, man, that's funny. Also, what Kai is actually talking about, because I was actually with Kai a few minutes ago in uh, Clubhouse. There's actually a Clubhouse room right now. The Muslims have it open saying that they will offer $50,000 for somebody to come and show that the original Quran is corrupted. <gasps> if they can do that, then they get the fifty thousand dollars. Where do you see that room? Apparently, there's been a lot of people in. Well, you're not going to be able to see it. I can't see it. Danny can't see it. So there's mm. certain people in that room that have us blocked. Yeah. So the people that uh, there's certain people that can't see the room, mm -hmm. but a, a few people have already went in and tried. And as soon as they've said something, they're like, "Nope, that that doesn't work. Nope, yeah, nope, course. nope, that doesn't work." <clears throat> so that's what Kai is saying. The more of us go in. And we, we record ourselves doing that and them saying no. Uh, if you get like 100 people together, I'll go after the lawsuit. And they would actually have to pay each of those people, I think, in the lawsuit around $50,000. I think that'd just be funny to see. But <laughs> that's hilarious. What Scott Scott said, somebody said, free all my Anjashas. <laughs> Let my <laughs> left shoulders go. <laughs> Let my left... <laughs> well, isn't that what the Hebrew Israelites think that uh, Moses was saying? Most, yeah. They think that the Israelites were black, right? Mm -hmm. So Moses would have been going because he's Muslim. You know, yep. let those left shoulders go. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's good. All right, let's get into this, guys. So um, I'm about to mute my mic. Let's and let's go ahead and get this started, y'all. But you guys can still talk through through it and and pause or whatever. Okay, so y'all y'all let me know. Um, but I got some little timestamps here. Okay. It was like the Christians were running the room a little bit more, and 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 Styles J was uh he um no no this was a different room. Uh, I was tell I was telling uh, them like how are you gonna allow the Christians just to make accusations and not even let us talk? And then I just left, bro. I was like, screw this. I don't even want to be a part of this, man. That's absolutely incorrect, dude. What a lie. What liars, man. How is it? How do they? Oh, man. How do they he do know, that? Huh? Yeah, like, dude, he already knew what it was. Everyone had the chance to speak. This guy just was mad because he couldn't inter interrupt people and cut people off. That's mm -hmm. what the problem. And then he said, and then he said, oh, and see, you should you should pull up your replays as well, too, and switch back and forth just to show the people what actually took place so they won't think we're lying. You know what I mean? I know the followers and stuff, they, they trust us, but it's also better to prove that that's not what actually happened. Because this dude was sitting there trying to cut people off, trying to get into the conversation when it wasn't his turn. And yeah. all he had to do was wait for his turn to be able to respond. When, yeah, uh, exactly. when they were doing that on the other end, it had there, there was there was no problem. And then he said Christians, it, it seemed as if the Christians were taking over the room. No, the Muslim moderator Zaytun was quiet as a mouse. Mm -hmm. He wasn't modding. He wasn't mm -hmm. saying anything. So Avery had to moderate. That's yeah. it. Our logic had to moderate the entire room because Zaytun was quiet. The only time I heard Zaytun open his mouth was maybe twice and one of them was to yell at the chat 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> to address the chat. Let's right. keep going. There, there you go. I dealt, with it. I dealt with it as well before, and I learned my hard lesson. Faisal reprimanded me really severe, and I felt really bad as well. I felt get reprimanded. <laughs> so, you know, so then if they come to our room and they want to say something, even if in our room, would you allow them to speak? Which one? You got to unmute yourself each time you pause that one. Yeah. Now, guys, this right here, who he's addressing, this Benny character is a regular in our rooms. Uh, you can ask Chris, Danny. Yeah, he yeah. Comes to our rooms every day, just about, and engages with us, hangs out with us, jokes with us. You know what I'm saying? Every day. And, uh huh. And so uh, now they're trying to tell him that, tell him not to go in our rooms, not and if he has rooms, not to let us speak. And so that's what he's asking him. Uh, when you have rooms, are you going to let these guys speak? That's what he just asked him. Just so, just so for context, he is a regular with us, a Muslim. Who's a regular? And, and that's such a disingenuous question to ask, man. Like, come on. Well, you know why? You know why they're doing that, though, right? God logic. Why is that? It's because every cult has to shelter the people within inside the cult. Mm -hmm. So these people know that if they're speaking to us, they're going to be exposed to the actual truth of Islam. Yeah. And they can't hide these lies anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're saying, don't even let them speak in your room anymore. Mm -hmm. Not just don't go to their room, but don't even let them speak in your room anymore. It's yeah. just how brutal they truly are. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we also got a super sticker from Jermon. Man, thank you so much for the super sticker. I really appreciate the support you guys are showing, man. You guys are a blessing. So I thank God for all of you. All right, let's keep going. On the the Shaitan logic and Paul and okay, so okay, yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. Very simple. Yeah, well, yeah. I came to yeah. out of the rooms. I, I put so, the dirtiest bike available. So I think yeah, we need to as Muslims we need to always have the upper hand. So if they come to us, we have the upper hand. So yeah, on that sense, on that context, yes, allow him to keep, and then we can refute them, right? You can refute them because we have the upper hand on that note. So, so, so. Yeah, see, now that would make sense, right, God Logic? Let's still have that conversation, but let's bring them over to our area so that we can be the moderators and we can control the atmosphere, but let's still have a dialogue. Right. Absolutely. And so Benny is different, right? But as the as the stream will keep going, you guys will see how they try to break him down and try to force him to agree with with them. But Benny's like, yeah, like let's 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 bring them into our rooms where we can control the conversation and the things that they speak on, we refute them. Like absolutely, which is which is fair. That's good. I I agree with that 100%. Stick with that, Benny. Um. Yeah. So let's keep going. You have you ever engaged with them before? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Do, do, do you know how much? They yeah. Hate Benny, Islam? Benny, Benny is a regular. Benny is a regular. Oh, okay, in but, okay, that's fine. He's not new to Clubhouse, by the way. And that's he knows fine. No one, no one, no regular to Clubhouse does not know who. Uh, uh, Every or good lo God logic is nobody, bro. Bro, my question is if you know that a snake that you are you can control snake, okay? You got equipment to control snake. Would you take snake to your house and say that I can control it? Uh, no, no, Thank no, no, you. no, no, I don't care, I don't need to prove nothing to them because they prove over and over and over. And wallahi, I'm always trying my best to be not unfair to anyone. I try to be as fair as I can. And I give the chances to anyone. I give the benefit of that to anyone. I've seen them, the hatred that they have nothing else but hate in Islam. 
and the bashing the Prophet and so on and so on and so on. Why would I even bother speak to them? Oh, God logic. Before you start, do you want to hand that guy a tissue? He did a lot of crime. <laughs> Life, Amen Podcast. You guys are nothing but bashers, man. I'm not even gonna give you a chance, okay? You, you Muhammad bashers. It's such. I mean, dude, this dude Muhammad. Oh, he's. I mean, this is this is mind boggling to even listen to, man. Like I said, I wanted to wait to the stream to hear this. I'm hearing this for the first time. This is mm -hmm. terrible. This yeah. is terrible. Yeah. Like, no. who is this guy? We don't even talk to him. Who are you? Ever. <laughs> so uh, it, it, what's funny, and, and I have a clip of this uh, on my phone, where uh, uh, I went up on stage, it was, it, all for like four minutes, uh, and I was asked talking to the Muslims um, about the you know the Quran preservation. I was asking them questions on it, but they didn't want to. Uh, they didn't want to talk about it, obviously. And they told they that dude Muhammad, uh, he. He inboxed the mods. He back channeled the mods and told them to remove me, to kick me out the room uh, with the questions that I was asking him. He said, kick, kick, kick me out. He, and then he came up on stage and admitted it uh, uh, right after they kicked me out the room. Do not ask me, how do I know this? But yes, it was, a, it was beautiful. It was amazing. This is, this is the guy that we're talking about here. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. So uh, I want to get to the part uh, right here where um styles starts talking about life a little bit and his uh -oh. cowardice styles is one of their leaders lane whatever it is and inshallah the brothers do speak to you go ahead yeah, let me <clears throat> hold on hold on hold on let me, let me finish what i was saying um and then you can say what you're gonna say um <clears throat> first of all there is no reason no excuse no one needs to even go to these rooms right for the simple fact that you shouldn't even be sitting with these people right there's certain people that you can have what's not done with that um that are good christians no one's saying there is no good christians there are certain ones that are good but the known deviant kuffar the dirtiest ones on here no one sits with them and there is absolutely no excuse to sit with them okay shaitan logic we have dealt with this guy for over a year Right, he's, when he first came here, he was he was trying to be nice, but he was collecting data of, of to know who is who. After he got refuted, he started going for the for the smaller Muslims, going for the reverts to get one up over them because he <laughs> couldn't speak to the big people on here. He got completely destroyed. There's videos of him, evidence of him getting completely destroyed. Right, him live. There used to be a whole load of Chris, Chris, Christians on this app that I still have a name of them. Um, I've got loads of their, their accounts. They used to be here from the Grahams, you name it, to 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 a Duke, uh, people that have been here longer. There was loads of them that, that used to come. They used to open rooms uh, calling the Prophet Salam names or with his name in the title, and he was there. Every room he was in attendance. Go to his replays and look at the, the names that they used to put him in life. They've had so many different accounts, right, because, because of us. We told them, report them, report them, <laughs> report them, report them. And then to see Muslims going to sit there and to pretend to have debates and whatever conversation you're going to have there is absolutely wrong. Absolutely wrong. There is no, absolutely no excuse for it. And for everyone that's in this room, please don't do this because now people are feeling that they're making excuses that they have to come and save you. There you go, Mr. Logic. All those, all those accounts life making, trying to get into these Muslim rooms and get refuted over and over by the big Muslims on this on the on the app. <laughs> Let me give a no, shout out real quick to uh, to Bethany, help her man. Thank you so much, sister. She says, he said, would you let a snake come into your house? Well, Muhammad says not to kill snakes in your house. Sahih Al Bukhari, thirty three one two. Um, sorry, Bethany, but Sahih Al Bukhari is Islamophobic, so you're not allowed to quote Sahih Al Bukhari um, for safety reasons and to to protect the feelings of the Muslims. So, no Islamic uh, Islamophobic material is allowed on this stream. Please and thank you. <laughs> but yeah, what's up, life man? What you got to say, man? Yeah, I don't. Hey, I, I don't know where they. I don't know where they get where they get this information from. Once again, Styles. 
I've never had an, an, an actual real conversation with him. I mean, um, if anything, I had maybe an encounter with him on a Muslim stage where he'd moderated or something like that. He maybe made the peep about not cutting somebody off or something, but I've never had a back and forth with him. Furthermore, I don't know what big Muslims he's talking about that refuted us because all these guys you see here have us blocked. We don't have them blocked. They have us blocked. And so they want to, they, they block us from being able to come into their rooms and then claim we're not coming into their rooms. It's the right. stupidest thing that I've ever seen on this app. And then they conjure up in this little room right here and they all just, and, and they all big each other's chest up and make each other feel good about mm -hmm. a lie that they're spewing. I don't know what this styles guy is talking about. We, we make rooms with Muhammad's title in the, it, with Muhammad's name in the title. Yeah, we do, but it's not disrespectful. We don't. We have. We say Muhammad did this, or Muhammad did this, and then we quote the uh, the verse, and then we bring people in to have a conversation about it. He was never specific about what he said. He just, I don't even know what he's even talking about, dude. Like this dude is just literally he, he making wants, it up. He, yeah, he just wants to add to the conversation, and you can tell yeah. like a lot of these guys, they just want to add to this bashing moment that they all have together so they can uh -huh. all feel good about themselves. Like, yeah, I got a story. And then you want yeah, to yeah. distort it. You know, <laughs> it, 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 this is terrible. I, I'm literally laughing in my head mm -hmm. about this because I don't know where he's getting this information from. We don't even You're talk to this. Making dude. It up. Yeah, just, look, like look. The, just like the Muhammad guy. We don't even talk to this dude. Yeah. These people uh, we don't uh, even talk to are talking. Like, what? Imagine imagine if if the Muslims who actually, actually held him up to that said, because he, he said, Everybody, go look at their replays and go look at their rooms. They're just disrespectful and bashing Islam. I challenge, uh, imagine if they all went and actually did and checked the titles of our rooms, checked our replays, and they'll be like, wait, what the what the heck is this dude we're talking about? <laughs> we have stuff like, is Muhammad a prophet? Is Muhammad in the Bible? Did Muhammad do miracles? Uh, 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 what else? Uh, all the, kinds the, of, the, the one Quran. room that I had that they all claimed that I was disrespectful. It was a room that I had and it blew up. It was like 200 something people in there. This is when I first found out about Muhammad uh, marrying Aisha. And I said, mm -hmm. Muhammad slept with a nine year old? Question mark. That's but the I, only it, room that they can kind of say my, uh, to them, to them, not to me, but to them in their own heads, of course, because they don't like that. But to them, that's the only thing that they'll say, oh, well, Muhammad, I mean, you know, life uh, created a room and he had his title. But see, they'll take that one instant and say, I did it every time. But it's not yeah. disrespectful. But that's not sure. even disrespectful. Yeah. Right. So Please don't, yeah. I'm actually sitting right here on my phone on Clubhouse and I took Styles' uh, idea. He said that I should go to God Logic's profile. And I should look at the rooms that he's been in recently, right? And and we will see how Islamophobic they are. Uh, so would you mind me reading out the last six rooms that you go were ahead. in? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go All ahead. Right. So we got slavery in the Bible versus slavery in Islam. That was the debate every yesterday, everyone, just so, so you all know. So disrespectful. So disrespectful, so disrespectful. Now, before that, though, the day before that, you did open a room, and it was called open discussion q a <laughs> that's, that's whoa, whoa oh my somebody, gosh. Yeah. Somebody, oh, somebody, oh, somebody better oh, stop me somebody oh, better oh, stop me before they start oh, 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 somebody better stop me before they start canceling your youtube channel for uh -oh. all this uh this bad stuff that i'm saying in these titles here uh oh here you goes. deserve to get blocked now, for that one bro now i hate oh, to man. say it mr avery but two days before that, so we're back to the 5th of November. Mm. Oh, ho, ho. I see another room. It says open dialogue with replays on. Blocked, bro. <laughs> Automatically. Blocked. Block. Block him for that. Block him Block. for that, man. Block before, him for that. Before that one, even. Uh-oh. Before that one. Here it comes. There's a title called Dean. Oh, no. That's enough. That's enough. Don't read no more. Report That's him. We all need to report him, man. Man, and I, I'm going to go to two. Him. I'm going to go to two before that one, because the next one after that was the debate: Albie versus Professor Mac. That was the actual title. 
Mm-hmm. That's so disrespectful as well. Mm-hmm. But I think this was probably where they were probably saying is is probably disrespectful. Jesus for all mankind in the Bible and Quran. Wait, we don't I, never talk about the Bible. Oh. No, yeah. It, weirdly enough, we don't. But it, weirdly, I don't know how this title has the word Bible in it. And we don't talk. Mm-hmm. But it did. My God. Well, no, well, no. Bible was mis. No, hold on, wait. Bible is misinterpreted. Bible doesn't really mean Bible. It means something else. <laughs> That's right. You got to say it in wait, Arabic. Wait, wait, yeah, Chris, reread those oh. titles in Arabic. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what it was. It wasn't an Arabicization of those <laughs> titles. That's what it was. Oh no, man! Sure. And actually, I'm going to go to the next one because it's an actual Islamic topic. <laughs> This is how disrespectful God logic. This is how disrespectful life. And, and now I'm going to have to throw myself in there too because mm-hmm. I was in this room. Mm-hmm. It's called Is Allah Physical or Spiritual? The Forbidden Question. Oh, no. That's it. That's enough. You kufars. That's the one. That's where I draw the line at, man. That's where I draw that's the that one. was sparked by me when I was in that room with them and they were trying that's to That's right. Me. That's and right. I like I forget who it was, but I was like, wait a minute, so the day of resurrection, is that on earth? And that was, like, you're yeah. talking about like, you're talking to Anas. Anus. Yeah, so I, was like, Anus. I was I was like, bro, so Allah is physical. No, Allah's not physical. <laughs> I was like, but you can see him. No, you can't see him. I was like, bro, what are you talking about? Man, man, oh man. God bless you. Hold on, hold on, guys. Uh, I'm seeing somebody's. Leah's Leah's saying y'all not liking the video. What's going on? Oh, whoa, Leah. Uh, She's right. She's right. There's uh, right now we have 170 people watching, yet there's only about 100 likes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, if you haven't hit that like button. Come on now. You you done secretly kissed a black stone this morning. Yeah, Yeah, you guys are exposing yourselves. Exposing yourselves. Oh, uh, really quick, as we get these likes up, guys, please, at least if you're not going to do it for, don't do it for us, it'll, do it for uh, everything New Testament, because today is his birthday, the day that God brought him into the world and gave him life. He's a fellow apologist. This is Hunter, uh, guys, from Clubhouse, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he he's in the trenches with us, man. So God bless you, Hunter. He's helped me so much in my growth uh, with the gospel and, and, and New Testament criticism and things of this nature. So please, everyone, give a shout out to uh, Hunter. Like the video for Hunter. And it's his birthday today, man. So happy birthday, brother. We love happy, you, man. Happy birthday, Hunter. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Isn't he studying to be a historian? He's studying for something. Yeah, he knows a lot about history. I like when he comes up. We, so we got another super chat. Thank you so much uh, from Abraham. He says, I honestly thank God for your courage and calmness to debate Muslims. You cannot reason with them. Can't say that enough. And their best argument is, guess what, guys? Insults. And when they cannot defend a fact, they accuse someone else. Mash Yeshua, brother, you are amazing. Thank you so much for the gift. And you're on point with that. Unfortunately, that's the truth. Yeah, that, that was pretty accurate. I was going to say, he probably debated them for a while. That was like right to the T right there. He, <laughs> he knows exactly what he's talking about. Right, right, right. That's exactly what I was just talking about with uh, X Planet. And then when I used to go into their rooms, and it, it turned, it was a, at first, it was let's have a conversation. And then it turned into, okay, well, he he's kind of. He's pushing back with a little bit too much information. Now we're just going to start trying to tear his character down. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Let's keep going. Um, Again, give a shout out to Hunter. Happy birthday, Hunter. He says, thank you, guys. Uh, Moderators, if you guys can link Hunter's YouTube channel into in in the uh, in the chat, please do, uh, because he's going to start uploading some videos. We uh, we've been talking. He's about to do some responses to uh muslim arguments and atheist arguments when it comes to the new testament and he's really good in this area guys so please subscribe to his channel he's got some stuff coming so guys if you guys can link his channel in the chat i love this brother um and he 
been on me. So <laughs> hey Hunter, hey Hunter, if you can hear me, I'm gonna uh, send you a DM on the back channel. I got a video that I'm gonna post, but I want to run something by you first. I want to see what you think about it. Excellent, because he really is good in this this New Testament stuff. So but yeah, he's, sorry, go ahead. And uh, he did put into the text that he's going through his masters. Yeah, I was just about to say that too. He's studying oh, his yeah, masters in New Testament. Beautiful. All right. So let's keep this thing going. Let's keep this thing going. Uh, all right. Let me mute up. What is it? Oh, we're gonna keep going. No one has. No one's coming to save you. Absolutely no one. There's no reason for anyone to be going there. And and uh, Zatun, I'll be honest with you. I'm disappointed with you, bro. Because I expected better from you. You should know better. You're around us for the most part, and you know how uh, things we move, or, or especially on this app and how we keep a certain order by ourselves. We are people that move of order. Muslims are people that move of order. This is not like a cultish thing or anything like that, but we are just an organized people that move with order. He done stepped out of the, he done stepped out of the realm. The, what happens here is the Muslims on this app, and they've just said it, they're a mafia, and he stepped outside of his realm. He, he, he didn't, he, he wasn't a soldier standing in line. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically what Styles is saying here is you done messed up, boy. You didn't even come to us and ask us mm -hmm. if you're allowed to do this type of thing. And yep. you're not allowed to do that. Yeah. And he, and he no, notice he mentioned he had to throw it out there. This isn't some cultish stuff, but we move with order. Yes, it is cultish stuff. You guys are a cult and you're telling him you're, you're, you're trying to silence him and silence the other Muslims and keep them from engaging in these critical conversations. Uh, th this is a cult. This is what Jehovah's Witnesses do. Uh, this is when you get deeper into Mormonism. This is what they do. This is what these cults do. Hebrew Israelism. This is what they do, man. Um, so uh, for those who are just joining in, 100 said he joined in late. Uh, uh, after, after our debate yesterday, after our, our debate room yesterday about slavery and Islam in the Bible, the Muslims made a room uh, attacking Zaytun, who was the Muslim who I co-modded with. They attacked him. Uh, they attacked Ishmael, and they were encouraging all the Muslims to stop engaging with us. And so this is what we're going over right now, this little gym. And also, thank you. Thank you, Hario. <laughs> Jesus is Lord forever, Lord. Absolutely. Amen. Mash Yeshua. Alhamdulillah. Yahweh. All right, let's keep going, guys, because we haven't even got to the juicy stuff yet. All right, so let me meet up. By the way, the uh, the account that you see with the hand there with no picture, that's Zaytun. That's Zaytun's account. The way that we move and you go over there to get mistreated, to get treated like filth. Our service, the Prophet Salaam ever had to go to the Kufar to get treated back like filth? No, never. So why would you not even do that? And X needs to come in here. So whoever, I want to message X. Where's X? X, please come up there. I promise it like this. So whoever, so whoever, I want to message X. Where's X? X, please come up. Because you lot, you should never have gone to that room, no matter what excuse. But um, I don't know. If, say, go, go and say what you need to say. All I was going to say was, these guys, they used to come in our rooms. They used to get bullied around, and we still showed them. Uh, a great deal of respect. It was to the point where they were looking for excuses to leave the room. For example, uh, no logic. Whenever he would get trapped in a corner, he would speak over the brothers. He would speak over me just so that we would mute him. I had to mute him, I promise you. Over 30 times in a row, in less than a minute, literally spam muting this guy like this. Only because he wanted to be kicked out of the room instead of leaving himself. In their rooms, they will never give you the opportunity to finish a sentence. They won't give you the opportunity to interject, to ask a question, to, to do any of this. You are co-modding with these people, but you're a prop. Like, look, you have the green badge, but you're not using it. They know you're not going to use it. I just want to pause right here uh, and give a, give a little background on HK, this guy here. I did not want to believe it. I wanted to give HK the benefit of the doubt, but uh, 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 over the past week and a half, 
over the past week and a half, HK has been showing up in little rooms with maybe like a Christian moderator that's like that doesn't really host rooms like that. Our sister, her name is SF on Clubhouse, Shawnee. She uh, had a room where HK was in uh, trying to talk to her and debate with her and ask tough questions. And I popped up in the room. And as soon as I came in the room and I came on the stage, he said, okay, guys, I have to go now. I, um, I, I have uh, something I have to do. And he, he said he got busy. Okay, no problem. Left the room, but then he came back. Like, literally, seconds later, came back and stayed in the audience. And I'm telling, like, we're telling, hey, HK, come back up. Come back up in the room, you know, come back up. And he's like, oh, I'm listening to a lecture. But while he's listening to the lecture, he's chatting in the chat. Chatting in the chat and responding to, or, uh, or you know, yeah, responding a little bit to things that's being said on the stage. It looked a little fishy. Now, SF is like, I don't, this doesn't look right, but is, is, is HK running from God's logic? <laughs> I was like, I don't, I ain't going to say that. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to put that on there, but that did look suspicious. Then uh, a few days later, I, I catch him in the room again and I come in the room. As soon as I come in the room, he start he, he, he mutes up and he ends up uh, dropping out of the room. And so then this confirmed it yesterday when we had the debate and when we started going on to the Islam side on slavery, all of a sudden he said, oh, I can't talk about this anymore. I'm with family. He has to go. That's what he said. He has to go. He's around his family. But watch what he says for the reason why he left. And you guys, you guys will see the reason why he left uh, a little bit later. Okay, let me um, give a shout out because I see there's some uh, there's some super chats here that I missed. Uh, so we have uh, uh, Abraham again. Thank you, thank you so much. He says, "I would like to add that I am African, and it is sad. It is a sad day when I meet uh, a black who converted to Islam right now in core Islamic states." The enslaving of Africans is going on, and I have seen no Muslim going against it. Man, anybody want to chime in on that real quick? Because that's that's yeah, deep. That, that that's just disgusting that people would still view people like that. But that's truly what Islam teaches, and that's what we're trying to get through to these people. And and, and Abraham, we'd be praying for you so so much, um, and God bless you. Um, this is the type of thing that we want to get out there so that people know that this type of thing is going on yeah. because Muslims in clubhouse and Muslims on social media, they're going to say that this isn't Islam. This isn't going on and anything else, but this is Islam. This mm -hmm. is going on and we need to point it out. So thank you so much, Abraham. God bless you, man. Yeah. God bless you, brother. Uh, and also uh, Leah for Christ. She also put a super sticker. Thank you so much, Leah. I appreciate you, sister. Okay, let's keep this show going. <clears throat> so remember, remember on the stream uh, yesterday, guys, the reason why HK left, uh, HK stopped engaging because he was around family and didn't want to talk about slavery around his family. Such a cop out. What a coward that man is. A straight up coward. And now he's in the Muslim room talking big. As, oh, yeah, they, they get bullied. You know, we had to mute these guys. They try to run from our rooms. What a coward, man. This dude's a punk. All right, let's keep going, though, because this is this is going to get funnier. What is the point? Right, Zaytun, I, I know, you know, you were, um, I spoke to you about it in the last one. I'll say it here because I don't want you doing it, it again, right? You said with your own mouth that they planned a two-day um debate thing you're going to be the the host is going to be a muslim room they didn't show up and then now they make a christian room and you're the only muslim mod then they they all show up and you feel like you have a duty for, uh uh for these people how does that even make sense bro you were there debating what you're talking about hk yeah, you were there debating why are you wait, wait, complaining wait, 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 come oh Benny <laughs> called him out and he called him out <laughs> <laughs> Then he caught him, caught him in his lies, man. Yeah. 
<laughs> Get him, oh, buddy. Gosh. That was oh, tough. Bro, what are you talking about? Benny comes, <laughs> Benny comes out of left field with that one question. And oh, he's, he's my goodness. Track. Watch, watch the uh, Michael Jackson moonwalk that uh, HK does out of that question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be good. Then now, if they make a Christian room and you're the only Muslim mod, then they, they all show up and you feel like you have a duty uh, uh, for these people. How does that even make sense? Bro, you were there debating. What you talking about, HK? Yeah, you were there debating. Why are you wait, just wait, complaining, wait, Benny? Wait, Calm down. Wait, As wait. I was saying, it's a wait. Right, I didn't even see. Wait, the wait, real quick, real the, quick, um, real quick. Hallway. Look at look at how he just tried to just just uh uh uh, uh just demean Benny. He said, "Why are you always complaining? What is he complaining about? He's just calling you out. He's not complaining. He's <laughs> exactly. Calling you out on your hypocrisy. <laughs> you sitting here running your mouth, and you was in there. You was in the room debating." Right, right, right. <laughs> but he's complaining, man. He's complaining. He's complaining by calling him out live. You don't get it. But before we continue to God Logic, something was said here. Now, there was supposed to be a two day debate, and we didn't show up. For, wh what's going on here? I don't remember that. Uh, I think he's probably talking about when it was being talked about, not that it was in actuality yet, but it was being talked about that there was going to be a two day debate. Yeah. Slavery in the Bible, slavery in Islam. I think that's what he's saying. Oh, instead of having the two-day debate, we just put it into the one-day debate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which makes sense. <clears throat> mm -hmm. yeah. And and correct me if I'm wrong, but HK didn't leave on a bad note, did he? No, no, he didn't leave on a bad so note. What, what he did was talking about. He went si once he made his claim about Deuteronomy 20, and then we started uh, getting ready to address him and and and. And slavery in Islam, according to chapter two, verse one, I forgot the verse number, 78, 178, 178, he had to go all of a sudden. He had to go when the Quran said free man for a free man in, in case of murder, uh, a slave for a slave, that a free man doesn't get killed for the slave. So wow. that's when he had to go all of a sudden. Yeah. This on is a good crazy. note. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he left. That's what I'm saying. Point. I remember he left on a good note. Mm -hmm. Nothing negative. Uh, we got uh, Ben. How you doing, brother? He says uh, he was talking about biblical slavery around his family, no problem. But when it came to answering about Islamic slavery, he wants to protect his family. That is true. Wow, I didn't even think of it like that. That is that's true. You was around your exactly family the whole time. Mm -hmm. Wow, the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support, brother. The whole time, man. But all of a sudden, oh, it gets it gets a little dangerous and sensitive when his family's around and we're addressing slavery and Islam. The coward, lying, snake foxes that these scumbags are, man. You guys are ridiculous. You're not men. You're not men. And it, but it, it gets what you'll see. This character, guys. We we're man. Let's keep going. Let's just keep going. Got to get to the good. I only saw a notification and brothers telling me to come in the room. As soon as I came, I thought it was a room that was run by Zaytun. I spoke for a few minutes and I left the room because I knew what kind of room it was. And Benny, you're always complaining. I've never seen any good from you, to be honest with you. I'm sorry for putting you on blast, but this bro, is something I've noticed with you. Bro, the room stop, was... Stop complaining. Bro, bro, can I speak? The, bro, the room... The, See, this, the room is about look muting him, muting him up, muting him up. Look at how, look at how, look at how demonic these guys <laughs> are, even with yes. themselves. You say something against what I'm saying, you're done. Let yes. me lie, or else, yes. yes, that's it. Let me yes. lie in peace. Don't yes. say anything to me, don't correct me. We are, are in here, we're gonna believe each other's lies, and that's it. HK. Mm -hmm literally just lied and said i left because i knew what type of room it was no you mm -hmm. left because you didn't want to speak about slavery around your family what mm -hmm. are you talking about that's when he left yes yo this is hilarious man let's mm -hmm. let's continue this is so y'all heard that right he said he left here he said he left because he knew what kind of room it was what type of room is going to be some type of unfair christian room that's why he left 
But when he was on stage with us, what did he say? Oh, I'm with my family. I don't want to talk about this around my family. You're a you're a coward, lying punk, dude. Seriously. And you're going to see this. Your Muslim brothers are going to clip this part. They're going to show it to you. You're a fraud, a coward, a punk. You're, you run all the time. Uh, let's keep going though. Let's hey, can going. anybody get can anybody get into that room? Because I can't get into your room. I just wanted what you, what the what the one the slavery versus uh, the room that we're talking about. I can't uh, get into so, it. So, so they must have blocked. I, I I have to check to see if I can get into the to that room now. Yeah, because uh, I wanted to play the clip of him saying this. It's on leaving. YouTube, dude. It's on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, uh, I forgot you did streaming on YouTube. <laughs> on YouTube. Sure did. I sure okay, did. Okay, okay, okay. We know how these dudes but are, man. I, I also want to say, everybody looking at the room right now, even everybody in the chat right now, when you're looking at the the screen, <clears> you <throat> see the title. Right above the title, you see the group name. Mm -hmm. That's what you see in Clubhouse when you join. There is no way HK. Well, maybe there is. Because maybe HK reads as good as his prophet. The <laughs> only excuse for him not knowing that that was in the God Logic apologetic group and was hosted by Christians was that he read the same way that his prophet does. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> That's a fair point. That's a good point. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. And uh, life, just let me know when you're ready to play that. You when you find that clip of uh, where he said why he left. Okay. All right, I got you. Yep. All right. Um, all right. I'm muting up. About to keep going. But oh yeah, by the way, so you guys see what they're doing to Benny? They're muting Benny now for calling HK out. They've been there. When you see, when you hear him cutting off, they're muting him. Okay, that's what's happening. And he's a and he's a Sunni Muslim. Yeah, but this the room. room. Okay, room. let me say one thing then. Let me say one hold thing. Hold on, Benny. Benny. Benny, hold on, hold on. Can I speak? Well, well, one thing, one thing, one thing. Just one thing and then I'm done. The room was said clearly on top the non logic project. So I'm you on, tell him I'm you haven't seen computer. that HK. No, I didn't see it. It's a different format. All right, so stop speaking on my behalf. He's a liar. He's talking about he's on his computer on Club Deck doing that. He's a liar. When you go on Club Deck, yes, the format is different, but it still shows the club names. It still shows the room names and the titles. It shows it all. It looks differently than how we see it here on the computer, or I mean, uh, on like the Clubhouse app. But it on Club Deck, you still see the club name when you enter a room. When you're scrolling down the hallway, checking the rooms and stuff like that, you still see it. When you get pinged, when you get pinged, the the the, the title of the room and the club and the, and the club is in the title. When you get pinged to a room, when you get the notification, he's lying. Beautiful Islam. Let's keep going. We've had rooms constantly about not going and entering their rooms that they are modding because they do not treat Muslims right. And so please don't come and, and speak on my behalf. I, I, I would appreciate it if you don't do that. You've done this a few times and, and your comments are un, uh, unwanted, to be honest with you. And, and they, they anyway, do, yeah, what's they do you, you've, uh, you've messaged me multiple times. I told, and I've actually obliged. I went to these individuals and I extended a formal debate to them. But this is not what they're interested in, bro. You keep telling me, "Oh, God, Whoa, logic." Is that was Sam? I told you, if, as long as is that was Sam speaking. Right. That's was Sam. All right, so we have me and God Logic here on the live stream right now. I can probably say for a hundred percent, Jay from Jay Apologetics has never talked uh, to we Sam, and neither has Paul. So, God Logic, I'm going to say for myself, I've never had we Sam come into a room that I've been in. And offered a moderated debate to any Christian ever. Same here. And this is for any Muslim that's listening to this later and you guys want to come in and clip. I challenge Wasam to show any messages, screenshots or whatever, of him coming to me and 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 uh challenging or for a debate, a moderated debate, going to Chris, 
moderate. The only, the people that I know that have conversate uh, conversed with him about such things is Milos and the A Man Podcast, which he flaked on both of them. He flaked on both of them. Did not want to debate Milos. And when uh, Amen, when it came time to debate with Amen Podcast, he acted like uh, uh, that he didn't know that they were supposed to d debate that Friday, like he didn't know what was going on, and then didn't want to debate that topic anymore. The Amen Podcast is in class right now, but I'm pretty sure he's smiling and shaking his head, listening to this right now, because this yeah, dude is. is a lying rat. You're a lying rat, Wasam. You're a coward. You're a coward. All of you. You're cowards. And uh, I really hate to say it. But the A Man podcast would have smashed him in that debate, hands down. But he don't want the smoke with Milos. Mm. Like Milos is a different human being. Yeah, when it comes to that type it's a of different knowledge. breed. Yep. Yeah, it's a different breed. My Milos is a different breed, man. Who Milos is a different breed. Um, yeah, I love it. Yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for letting them know. Yes, please continue to hit that like button. Uh, and if you if you love uh, the little gem that we found, <laughs> please smash that like button, guys. Let's keep it going. Yeah, guys, yeah, guys I, I just I had to step out because I wanted to, to say something about that. Um, yeah, so we were supposed to debate. Um, I mean, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt. He said that he got caught up in some stuff. So I said, um, he was like, well, I didn't know we were supposed to be debating. I didn't know it was a debate. I was like, well, I mean, I told you that it was a debate, but okay. He was like, well, I'll be free later, maybe around five. I said, well, you know, I, I'm not going to be able to do it because I got a lot of stuff going on, specifically that day. Uh, he never responded that day. So I sent him a message. I said, well, what about tomorrow at 2 p.m.? That message is still in my inbox right now, unresponded to. And that was a week ago. Um, maybe he's talking about uh, I was supposed to have a quote unquote conversation with, I don't know who it was uh, on Tuesday, um, but I ended up, I, I first say, yeah, fine, I'll do it. But then I ended up declining because the people, whoever I was supposed to debate, they never told me who it was. They put it under the guise of a conversation and it just seemed really fishy. So I felt like it was a setup. So I was like, look, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna entertain this. Um, but I mean, I was never, it was never supposed to be quote unquote a debate with whoever it was that it was supposed to be. But I know with we some specifically, it was supposed to be a debate, but he never, it just never materialized. Yes, sir. Uh, just, just a future note, uh, amen podcast. There's like some static or something that comes with, with your mic. Okay. So I don't know if that's fixable or, or what, but yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it comes in a little rough, but um, but yeah, I, we heard you though. We heard you, Mash Yeshua. All right, let's keep let's keep this going. Let's keep this going. But yeah, you guys heard it from the horse's mouth. They're on the stage. There's absolutely no point in engaging with them because they're not there. They're there even, even if you are perfect. Even if you are perfect, Yahi. Even if you are perfect and you refute everything, they'll just take one clip, manipulate it, and put it online. It, you're just, you can never win with these people. And when you actually invite them to debate, they never accept it. So you got, you got to stop that one more. Uh, can I speak? All right. So my phone is legit. No, no, you can't speak. You can't speak, Zaytun. Don't just be quiet. This is a room where you just be quiet and listen. For real, for real. Forget Zaytun. I don't have a cussing that I need. Why didn't you advise your brother? Why didn't you advise your brother? So watch how they're talking to Zaytun now, guys. Zaytun is asking, now can I speak? Because this is all about Zay and, and really Ishmael. Zay and Ishmael. Or addressing Zay, Zay's like, all right, can I speak now, guys? He tries to speak. X Planet comes up. No, you can't speak. This is a room where you be quiet and you listen. You yeah, listen. I love how the room is about them, too, because those are the ones that hold panels uh, with, with us. And they're not allowing them to speak. I mean, it's open as clear as day. You guys heard it. No, you can't speak. 
okay, so you want to just say what you want to say about me, and this is what they do with us too. On, on when we when we used to go onto their stages, and when we can go on their stages, it's a it's a I'm gonna say what I want to say about you. As soon as you respond, if I hear what I don't like from you, I'm gonna mute you. I'm gonna move you to the audience, and I'm gonna continue talking about the conversation you and I were having while you're in the audience. And I'm probably never gonna bring you back up so I can claim victory. And this is exactly what they're trying to do right here with Zaytun. The room is about them. The room is about them. It's actually about Zay in the room that he just had with Avery. But look, they're not even letting him speak. They're just talking about him. You sit down, listen, and be quiet because you're supposed to be a good Muslim. And you're not being a good Muslim, so be quiet. Yeah. Hey, hey life looks like your buddies and they're twerking for his buddies too. <laughs> <laughs> I just seen that name sitting you there. See like, him? Oh, of you course you gotta have him in there. Of course, all of course he gonna come in there or something like that and add on. Yeah, they were probably recording <laughs> it and putting it on YouTube yeah. for money. Oh, oh, trust me, we're gonna get the Rashad. I I gotta mark that. I got a little Rashad's little uh little little two cents in here too. But guys, notice what happened just now, though. Ishmael was on the stage. He's gone right now because they kicked him. They kicked him down because he said, man, let the brother speak, man. And then they kicked him down. They kicked Ishmael down for speaking up for Zay, too. Ishmael is also the other Muslim. Ishmael, guys, is the Muslim that we host, uh, that we co-host with debates that Chris has been having with the Muslims. Ishmael and me, we mod together. You guys remember him. And so they don't like that. They don't like that. They just kicked him off the stage just now for saying, let Zaytun speak. Oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, let's keep this going. No, I, I ain't You're no the one on the hot seat. I'm not I'm a you. You. What, 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 you what, 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 Speak better with Lai. I think that. Lai, Lai. You know when I tell you, you know when I tell you, you know when I tell you. One at a time. Little one at a time. Like little one at a time. Yeah, brother X. Look, um, um. I, 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 one second. The, one the second. guy. This, this what happened. This what happened. One second. I'm one shocked. Second. No, I, yo, I can I, I speak? Zaytun, don't speak. Just be quiet. Just for real. Stop talking. X, X, X. Stop talking. Let's, let's have a room organized. Let's respect each other. Let's take it one at a time. We're not here to bash anyone. We try to remind ourselves. Sweet. No, you can't. Yeah, question Zaytun, to me. Zaytun, if you speak, I'm literally going to go down. Do not speak. This is a room where you just be quiet. It's all your yeah. fault. Literally, they all told me to literally, speak. Literally, now I'm getting yelled at because of you. Okay, but before That's you guys go I, on, I, I just want Now, I'm getting yelled at because of you, Zaytun. X is a little crybaby wuss. I'm getting yelled at because of you now, Zay. No, you're getting, you getting yelled at because you didn't do good in a debate. I'm in trouble because now, because it's all your fault, Zaytun, for making me get exposed. You know what? I, you know what would have happened in this thing? This room would have never taken place if X Planet would have beat anyone in that debate. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they would be celebrating. You know, man, good job, Zay, for setting that. Uh, for setting that up, man. We destroyed those Christians, man. Excellent yeah, job. Exactly. Come on, man. <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> Let's keep it going because it gets it's it's getting good now. We're getting to it. Never seen this many Christians come into the room before. This is the only time yeah. I've seen it. I'm spam blocking these people from the room. But continue, but do not put each other on blast. Well, okay. Benny, Can I'm watching first? you in particular, you weird guy. Oh my. Anyway, yeah, you, yeah. either yeah, one. So what, what happened? What happened is, I'm shocked that Zaytun has a room under that club. I'm like, how does Zaytun? This is where Zaytun is a hundred percent at fault. He should just be quiet. He did not explain to us who went into that room because he's there. He did not explain to us that he had a under the table negotiation with these people. So I'm in the room and he's told, he's telling me slowly, slowly, no logic, and his whole crew of people are in the audience. And he's saying, oh, there's going to be a debate about the Christians and this and this and this. So that's 100% you blindsided us, day 2 Secondly, alhamdulillah, I was holding my ground. I was smacking them up. I was getting a chance to speak. I, me, HK, we got a chance to speak. And alhamdulillah, I believe the sincere. So that's 100% you blindsided us, day 2 Secondly, alhamdulillah, I was holding my ground. 
I was smacking them up. I was getting a chance to speak. I, me, HK, we got a chance to speak. And Alhamdulillah, I believe the sincere Christians amongst them, they will notice that these people, can, you can't be with them. Secondly, Alhamdulillah, I was holding my ground. I was smacking them up. I was getting a chance to speak. I, me, HK, we got a chance to speak. Oh, did... But what? You, you, Wait a minute, you, I thought... You, you didn't let them speak. Yeah. You're so rude to them. I thought when they go into our rooms, they don't get a chance to speak. What? Isn't this what this whole room is about? <laughs> And then they this said, room? and they, and then they said you were controlling the. Then they said you were controlling the room. They said the Christians were controlling the room, so that would mean that the Christians let you speak. Am I? Am I tripping? Oh wow! Here? What? Wow. And, Wait a know, second! He I, got a chance to speak. Alhamdulillah! He got a chance. Him and HK got a chance to speak. Chris. Alhamdulillah, you sure? Wow, that is amazing. But the, wait, for the past, where 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 is this marking? Was that 25 minutes? 25 minutes up until now, you're not allowed to speak in God Logic's rooms. All they do is mute you and cut you off. They don't give you a chance to speak. You can never finish your sentence. Stop going in their rooms. They're so rude. They're mean. They're evil. They suppress the truth of what uh, is uh, Muslims try to bring out. They don't allow you to address their points and interject at all. But X just said, Alhamdulillah, we were in the room and we got a chance to speak. At the 25 minute mark, Matt, guys, this and is. I also want to point out there too. That is really funny how he kept saying that you kept muting them. You don't, you don't let them speak, and then all of a sudden he said that they definitely had time to speak. Uh, they weren't being muted. But you notice how he said that during that debate he was standing his ground. He, you know, he he was holding his own. He he was he was putting it to us. He was giving us that smoke, right? Mm. How many Muslims <laughs> just agreed with him? <laughs> this is so good. Subhan al Masih Lepanto. Yes. <laughs> 100 says, Avery, we had to wipe away some tears and practice that line in the, in the mirror a few times before he got the courage to make the, that claim publicly. That is hilarious, yo. All right. <clears throat> Let's keep it going, guys. Let's see what else accidentally comes out of their mouths. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, <clears throat> this is fun. And Alhamdulillah, I believe the sincere Christians amongst them, they will notice that these people, can, you can't be with them. Perhaps you're seeing these Christians in this room because that's the reality. No Muslim is allowed to speak on their stages. If you speak, either they derail or either they all get a chance to input their rubbish. I believe the sincere Christians amongst them, they will notice that these people, can, you can't be with them. Perhaps you're seeing these Christians in this room because that's the reality. No Muslim is allowed to speak on their stages. If the whole crew of people are in the audience and he's saying, oh, there's going to be a debate about the Christians and this and this and this. So that's 100% you blindsided us, day too. Secondly, Alhamdulillah, I was holding my ground. I was smacking them up. I was getting a chance to speak. I, me, HK, we got a chance to speak. And Alhamdulillah, I believe this. Am I am I in a time loop? Did he did he just say fifteen seconds like later that he wasn't allowed to speak? I, I'm confused. Chris Claus, life, somebody. I, 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 I heard him say that he wasn't allowed to speak, and then he said him and HK were allowed to speak. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, somebody help. <laughs> Somebody help. In Islam, we don't use our brains. Where is that clip, Life? <laughs> Life, you I sent it to you, man. You, you did? You sure? I, I, I sent it to your phone, man. Man, I don't know if I can trust you, you Kufar, man. I don't know. <laughs> I've been sent that <laughs> clip to you, man. <laughs> he said, why did he backtrack? Melissa said, why did he backtrack like that? What a clown, yo. <laughs> this is amazing, guys. This is amazing. Masha, sure. Okay, let's keep it going. <clears throat> and see Christians amongst them, they will notice that these people, can, you can't be with them. Perhaps you're seeing these Christians in this room because that's the reality. No Muslim is allowed to speak on their stages. If you speak, either they derail or either they all get a chance to input their rubbish. 
So, I mean, at the, at all in all, I think it, it went well for, you know, some part of it. But, you know, ultimately, these people are disgusting kuffar. Like Sal said, these are dirty kuffar. These are the worst of them. Abu, you la'natullah, you in the audience. Abu Amir, kick that one out too. They get they they have Muslim names. They have seemingly Muslim accounts. They hijack Muslim names, and these these are these are the ones that they sent in our room. Look at this, Abu Amir. Just click that profile. It's a Christian. The other one is called <laughs> Muhammad from Saudi Arabia. He's a Christian. Like, what are these people? <laughs> Abu Amir. These are one, one of the, the worst, worst of the worst. So I, I did not see Re- the remove them, I remove not, them I from not, the room. Uh, I remove them from the room. Yeah, can someone mod me really quick? Yeah. Yeah, Muhammad Kaya say that one, that one is another one. Uh, he pretends to be from Saudi. It's another. Hold on. Uh, he, um, he pretends to be a murtad. He's not even a murtad. Uh, it's a, a disgusting it, um, individual. How, how so now they're talking about how shameful it is for Christians to have fake accounts and sit in Muslim rooms, right? That's what they just said, and he just called uh, our friend Muhammad disgusting. Now that, that, that's that's fine. If you want to do that, fine. He said that this it's disgusting for them to be pretending to be something they're not. That's what that's what Asil me. This guy, where is he, where is he at? This guy with the one hundred. This is what he just said. That is disgusting. That's what he just said. For people having fake accounts and uh, you know pretending to be something that they're not, in and uh, sitting in rooms, it's disgusting behavior. That's what he just said. <clears throat> but listen to this. Listen to this, man. It's proven many times. Why? It's like we don't have no ghira, no nothing. Uh, Brother Muhammad, what is the ayat where Allah SWT says that Allah will never give the disbelief? Uh, you know, I went with my burner account. Most of these looking rooms, I cannot see with my normal account. I cannot see them. Yeah, so I went in with my burner account. Nobody follows that burner account. Nobody knows that account. SubhanAllah, the way the Muslims are... Wait a second. Wow. Didn't it disgusting to have a fake account and sit in Christian rooms like as if you're one of them? Uh, or uh, to do that to Muslims, he said it's disgusting these Christians having fake accounts sitting in Muslim rooms. But this dude just he earlier at the 10 minute mark at 1054 said that uh, subhanallah. I was in there with my burner account, subhanAllah. No one knows about that account. It's my fake account, and I was sitting in that room, and they didn't know about it, subhanAllah. What is up with this religion, bro? And no one says anything. They just sit there and just, yeah, nice, nice. (laughs) What? Like and none of his none none of his Muslim brothers are like, are you that stupid? You just said it was dirty, and now you, like none of them actually remembered him saying that. Of course not, of course not, man. But this is the religion; it makes you deaf, dumb, blind, and cowardly. This is what Islam does to you when you're part of the Dawa team. When you're part of the Dawa team, this is what Islam does to you, man. Oh, uh, Daddy Davis, Lana to Allah to them for cursing Abu and Muhammad like that. <laughs> Lana to Allah, man. <laughs> oh, shoot. This is hilarious. Straight up hypocrites, man. Oh, there was another comment, too, in the chat recently by, uh, who was it? Uh, Solomon Pope, he says, at Logic, didn't someone with a fake account come in and close the room? Yep. That's right. A Muslim okay. with a fake account came in, shut down the room, kicked down the Christians, and, and shut down the room. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. 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 Disgusting behavior. And right, watch this. Like- hold on. Hold on real quick. Watch this. So, A.V., so X Planet tried to make a case. You know, he's in there crying like he got mistreated, right? Mm-hmm. He didn't get mistreated. Listen to this. This is why he got kicked out. This is opposing that. Again, now we're going to talk about that's the time. Uh, clear verse in the Quran. That's the time. In chapter 90, it clearly says, that's the time. What is it? 
You see that? Three times he just told him, that's the time. Early on, X Planet in the beginning, we all agreed to abide by the moderators and the times that it was set. 30 minutes per 30 minutes. When the time is up, we have to come back. There were things that we wanted to answer uh, for the Muslims that we couldn't because we respected the time. So we said, you know what, we'll wait until it's our turn again. What happens on the Muslim side, once the time is up, look at what happened. He said, that's the time three times and look at X Planet. He's still going. It tells you in the no, 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 what no, is no, the no, best no, path no, to follow, no, no, chapter 90. The no, best no, path no, is no, to free no, a slave. No, 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 no. Why are you interrupting me? Because that's the time. Logic. I don't care about the time. Wait, logic, logic, logic. I don't care about the You didn't care about the time. This is the Christian room, guys. This is why no one joins them. They literally are afraid. They they don't bring references. Hey, I'm about to kick them out. Kick me out. You're going to know what's no, going to happen. I'm open a response. Hey, 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 I will allow you to finish whatever Logic like Finish says. I'm going to allow you to finish. Okay? He said time is up when you literally let so, this so guy. So I was saying, what are we doing? Hey. The, the time is up. Uh, when the time yeah, you're up making up the time. Wait, you're X, up X. Up time. Logic, Logic. So this is the popcorn story. Anybody can say something now, right? So No, no I'm going to respond to Danny, bro. You see, so uh, the, you know, and uh, I'm gonna put yours back on. How do you do that? Right there. Yeah. Uh, so as you guys can see, right there, that's just evidence enough. If you guys go watch the past stream yesterday, uh, those of you who are here now who who uh, don't know which room we're discussing, it's literally the last stream he did yesterday. You can see what happened with these guys and why what took place with these guys took place is because of attitudes like this. He didn't care. I don't, you, you see him. I don't care about the time. And then he just kept talking. Yeah. He just kept talking, bro. And so it's like, you don't have no respect, but then they go into these rooms and cry because they, they weren't allowed to do that. And now mm -hmm. we're dirty and we're, we're dirty mush licks or whatever they say, dirty cows or whatever. You know, now now we all listen that because you couldn't come up into the room and, and have your way. It don't work yeah. like that, bro. You got to have respect. Yep. Amen. All right. So now, guys, we're finally going to get to hear Zaytoon. He's finally going to be able to voice his concerns. You guys ready for that, panelists? Yeah, let, let's, let's see him uh, scrape that yellow streak off the center of his back. <laughs> you see that's how I, this is how much i i used to like zaytun until he did what he did when he did what he did he showed his true colors to be you know he's our brother you're gonna listen to him so take your time all right cool so this is how i'm raised i'm a fair person allow everyone to speak in the rooms. All right? Ishmael, he does the same thing too. All I'm trying to do is allow everyone to get the chance to speak. We know for a fact they lie in the rooms, lie with the Quran. There's nothing else they can do. Their whole Bible, their whole scripture, Deuteronomy, Exodus, all about slavery. There's no way around that. So now that you so know that they are unfair, Zaytun, this is the question you, you did not answer me last time, right? Will you model room with them again? Nah, I said no. No, will you join? Will you join a room ask, with ask them and set up thing. Ishma, Wait. would you mod a room with these people again? Can I? Because this is this is yeah okay okay because this, this is what it boils let's down to guys yeah let let's give him give him plenty time to express himself the way he wants to in the end we can ask him question okay cool thank you go ahead Rafi so. All I did, I, that, now that's my fault. I expect the best out of people. I expect them to oblige by said rules. Did I? I know they tend to lie a lot, yes, but that's just me. I expect the good out of everyone. I don't care if you're doing bad too. I'm still going to expect the good out of everyone because that's what I am. I was trying to be. Wait, pause it real quick. Everything. Pause it real quick. Did he expected us to oblige by said rules in which we did. And did I not just play a clip of his Muslim brother who didn't oblige by said rules and he opened his mic to 
disobey said rules himself by saying, X, I'm going to let you speak. X, go ahead and finish. When God Logic did that, he told us, no, we're going to have to come back to this later because we want to be honest to the rules that we set. So what is a tune even speaking of? And I'm glad that all this is recorded because they're just liars, bro. He wasn't obliging by the said rules. And if anyone watches that stream, you'll see Zaytun probably said three things the entire the entire stream. He wasn't moderating at all. Avery right. was. And so because Avery was forced to moderate the entire stage because Zaytun was too scared to open his mouth. And now all of a sudden this. It's, it, it came down to this. Now, all of a sudden, all the Christians controlled the stage and they did this and that. Man, this is this is foolishness, man. Yeah, that's a good point you raised. Uh, there was a point when uh, when, you know, the, the Bible was under scrutiny with the slavery. Uh, HK made a last point when the time ran out on Deuteronomy 20. That's that uh, the Christians really wanted to address. But because of the time ran out. I was faithful to the rules that was said. That was a good point that you raised, like good reminder. Uh, and so we, I was, we were consistent and, and, the, and, the, and, and the Christian brothers and sisters on the stage submitted. They said, all right, I was like, we'll get to it later. We'll get to it, but we have to go to the, we have to move on with the time. And they submitted to it. Different attitude with the Muslim uh, when, it, when his time ran out, different attitude. Uh, but yeah, so we have we have uh, Jenkins here with us supporting the channel with a, a, a gift. It says good afternoon, y'all. How y'all feeling? Uh, I see that those guys are dishonest. I am sure we all understand no one is good except God. Jesus in Mark chapter ten verse eighteen. Forgive and move forward. I love Amen. the mind of Christ that you have, but uh, Jenkins, God bless you. Absolutely. Yeah, we we have no we have no ill. I, I'm not mad at these guys. I I I I can literally talk to any of them now in a conversation, have a good conversation. Me, I don't have any vitriol or ill will towards them. I I love them, and I I, I love that they're doing this. I appreciate this because it exposes them and their religion. I'm not mad at all. I'm having a great time. I had a great time last night. I'm having a great time listening to this. Every insult that they get show to. Chris, Life, Danny, uh, Chloe, and everybody in Christ. I, I love when they do that because it exposes the religion. I don't get mad. It, it, it excites me. Like, yes, show your true colors. Thank you. Thank you. Do it. Keep going. Keep going. You got it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not mad at all. Yeah. Now, they, watch they this. They didn't remove that yellow streak. <laughs> no, <they laughs> now, watch this. Watch this. He said he thought that we were going to oblige by said rules. Watch this. For injuring the, the, the slave, just not the capital punishment if he doesn't kill him. If he kills him, he gets the capital punishment. We will return to this. We'll give this. How a does that justify them being, you know, for, uh, for the uh, day or two? Uh, uh, brother a Avery, yeah. can, can, I, can I answer? Uh, we, AK, we have we have, he we have to do it in the next. We have to. If we're going to be consistent. We have to do it in the next segment. Yeah. Oh, wait, is that Avery obliging by said rules? Oh, no. Hold on. <laughs> in the next segment. Hey, so he uh, did, oh, my goodness. He, he lied. lied about he, he lied about Deuteronomy. And look how <laughs> mad Scott is that he we'll, can't answer. We'll, we'll address it. Hey, right, hey, right. Scott, yeah. we'll, we'll address it um, in our next round. Um, but uh, Avery and um, Zaytun, we yeah. have two Christians. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, wow. Avery obliged by the rules. He cut the timer when it was supposed to be cut, and he didn't allow a Christian to even respond to the claim. Whoa. So what is, Zaytun, what is Zaytun talking about? And the Christian literally got mad because we weren't able to defend our scriptures because it was right. so close to the end. Like yeah. he right. got mad at his own, well, didn't get mad, but got disappointed, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. notice, notice the difference. X Planet got to respond to one point when the timer was up. That was it. You can't address all of them. Do one, and that's it. Avery let him get that off. He finished it. Okay, cool. Before you go to the next ones, we'll come back later. X Planet, what does he say? I don't care about the timer. So what? Who cares? I'm going to keep speaking. What does Zaytun, the moderator, do? X Planet, keep speaking. Keep going, X Planet. Go ahead. 
Yeah, literally, he says, "I don't care what logic says. You can keep speaking." That's exactly. literally what they said. Notice the difference between moderation and also notice the difference between what the Christians did and what the Muslims did. It was, okay, you know what? Fine. Of course, Scott went back and forth with him for about a second, but it was just, all right, you know what? I'll wait. And it, that was it. <clears throat> Here, it was, yeah, go ahead. Do whatever you want. Keep talking. You got it. <laughs> Keep talking. To the point where Zaytun what, didn't even, wasn't even aware of how, how he was supposed to moderate the conversation. Is this the... Is this the crossfire part of the conversation? No, it's not. Right. We're doing 30 for 30. We're about to go back to Christianity and then we'll come right back. Let's, li you know, now all of a sudden, you know, so I just wanted to show the hypocrisy. Look at the difference between moderation in uh, between these two guys right here and notice how he's lying here on stage in front of everybody. Yeah, this well, is this is amazing, man. The the reason why we see the difference in the moderation is Avery actually was watching the debate and listening to it. Zaytun was watching the chat, kicking Christian women out of the chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he was watching the chat and screaming at the chat more than actually moderating the room. I don't I don't understand why mods watch the chat. Forget the chat. Yeah, moderate the conversation. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, let's go, guys. So we got some more stuff to get to. <clears throat> so Zay, Zay is speaking. Zay is speaking. And they're going to respond and stuff. Balance. That's what I was trying to do. But Zay Tuna, it was right in your face. Right in your face, they were cutting you off. When it was my turn to speak, like, you you let them and drop me like cutting them times. off too, X. I was no. trying to, I was telling them, let you speak. Let How you speak. How many times did they drop me, though? Look, I was trying to tell there's you. No, there's no point. If I'm the main there's person, no point in going, God, there's no, no, there's no right point in going into what happened in the room. Mod. You should do something. Okay, okay, there's no point in there's yeah. no point in discussing what happened in the room. Keep in mind, you guys saw why he got dropped. You guys saw first, because for ourselves, we will be questioned on the day of judgment. I won't be questioned about Zaytun or Brother Muhammad or Abu Adam. I'll be questioned about me, my decisions, and my choices. Right. Somebody said it's from persuade me to do that. No, I'm a grown man. I'm, I just turned 20. I'm the youngest woman in the room. I just turned 21. Right? Again, I have Christian relatives myself. This is how we all act. I would that did I expect that to happen? No, I really did expect him to oblige by said rules. That's how anyone, that's how I do with anyone. I don't care if you you my worst, you can be my worst enemy. I still I still treat you fairly, even though you're worse than me. That's just how I again, that's just how I would grow up. Right? Now, did I expect that to happen? No, we're all adults. I was trying to control the room. We're all adults here, man. Nobody should be a song to no one. He I was, was trying, trying to could. Oh my, my god! What? what? I was trying to tell everyone to go up in there. Now the room. It's he was trying to control the room. Yo, oh my gosh, these dudes are such liars, bro. Me. Oh. Somebody else. It was a. It was um, Zainu. The other Muslims have been in the room too. I told them, I said, look, there will be a debate room. Islam, Christianity, slavery, Islam, and slavery to Christianity. I said that. And it was also the room too that X, X told me. X, I remember when I came on the app, yes, not yesterday, I think it was Sunday or Monday. I was in a room with Raquel about Palestine. X texted me, he said, make a room called Why Do Blacks Something in Slavery? You know? They came out of the room, I shut that room down. They made another room. And I remember telling X, I said, bro, it's going to be a debate room on slavery tomorrow about Islam and Christianity. Now, there was nobody in the room. Not a lot of people come to my rooms, to be honest, when I make them. So nobody's really going to get the word. But I remember I told two people on the I, I was in the room with Islam. There were other Muslims up in that room. I said there would be a debate room on, on, on slavery. I always make a room about slavery. I said I made a room about slavery, about the transatlantic slave trade with Christians. I made that room. My Muslim came in there too. We all made these type of rooms. But the room regarding logic room, logic said that to me. I didn't make that room better him. If I would if I was the one who made that room, I would have made up under a Muslim room, not a Christian room. All right, so therefore, did I expect all that to happen? No, I didn't. I didn't know anything about Ishmael, about H about um Ishmael and uh, somebody else, Clark Chris Cross debate. I didn't know nothing about that. No, I remember no, seeing I remember sad, I got that's a sad thing.
time that they go looking for the Kofa. Like you say, oh yeah, you know, we got no, no. You, you don't what you don't even need to do that. Islam doesn't need you to defend it. None of you. It doesn't need any of us. It doesn't need any of us. It stands tall on its own. We don't have to beautify it. We don't have to add anything to it. Islam is what it is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects his deen on his own and he chooses the people that he wants by himself. He So Styles is responding to him saying, uh, did the prophets ever go looking for the Kufar? Did, did Muhammad ever go looking to debate the Kufar? Did he have to go look for the Kufar to help justify Islam? Uh, questions, brothers on the panel and people in the chat. Um, did Muhammad need the, pre the people of the book to solidify his prophethood, to justify Islam, his religion and his his prophethood? Did he need us yep. to validate him? Yep. Hmm. Huh. His, his Quran tells him to. Well, yes, uh, absolutely. We got a bunch of yeses here. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yeses. 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 What's up, Snow? I see you. Yeses. Yeses. Absolutely. Chapter 10, verse 94. What does it say, Chris? Chapter 10, verse 94. What does Allah tell him to do if he's doubting? To go to the people of the book. If the you're in doubt. Book. Come on. No, that's Islamophobic. That's to Islamophobic. People, to the people of the Kitab. Mm. Wow. So what is what is Styles talking about? I see why life he never speaks when we're there or never engages with us. Because he says stupid stuff like this. That'll that'll get him uh embarrassed. That's why he's quiet. And he just lets the other idiots uh, make fools of themselves when they speak to us. Let's keep going. That's right. And the Jews. And the Jews. Let's keep it going. Oh, it looks like we have a Muslim in here. Elias. Uh, if you want, Elias, you can come on up and uh, engage with us if you want. Yes, Elias, you need us. Without our scriptures, you are nothing. If our scriptures didn't exist, your prophet wouldn't have had anything to hold on to. Mm. There's the stream link, uh, Elias. You're more than welcome to join us and uh, defend your prophet. More than welcome. All right, let's keep going. All right, let's see where I'm at. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, this is, yeah, yes, 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 yes. All right, let's keep, yes, all right. This is going to be, this is this part. I love this part, guys. Yeah, Akhi, Allah does not care, does not care about us giving the message or not if in this, in this scenario. Allah says, do not sit with them. That's it. If they see, I, Wallahi al-Azim. Every knows about Islam more than a lot of Muslims on Clubhouse. Yeah, sadly enough, eh? Yeah, yeah. Akhi, Allah does not care, does not care about us giving the message or not if in this in this scenario. Allah says do not sit with them. That's it. If they see I Wallahi al -Azim, every knows about Islam more than a lot of Muslims on Clubhouse. I agree with you on that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Now they can't actually lie because they can't say that you lie about Islam. They just said that you know about Islam. <laughs> right. So and 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 Abu and Abu, whatever his name is, agreed. He said, I agree with you on that one. He agreed. He agreed. Guys, keep this mental note of what he, they just agreed to and said as we continue to go on. This is going to be hilarious, man. This is hilarious. So Avery knows about Islam more than Muslims on the app, right? That's what we heard. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Keep preaching, uh, ABC. Keep preaching. Shoot. We've been trying to tell these people this this whole time, man. 
truth. So I just want to add. I want to add something. He, he, he reads. He reads about Islam. Yeah, he knows about ABC. the. the go, go. If, if I could add, if I could add something here, I just watched go. part of the replay. Okay, so if they have. Oh, uh, here it is, dude. Go. Here, <laughs> here we go. Life's best friend. It's about that time, man. And, and, <laughs> and we tried to tell life. I don't know how. I knew. Times, yeah, go ahead. I don't know how many times we had to tell life. Get this man off your stage. No, no, no. Yo, I knew as soon as this guy, how did I know Rashad was going to be the one to come up and counter after it was stated about you like this? That's well, right. Logic, God logic knows uh, more about Islam than a lot of people or than a lot of Muslims. And who, who has to come in and talk right after you say that? Uh, can I just say something really quick? Can I just uh, say something uh, really quick? Uh, excuse, excuse me. me. Um, hold on. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. And, it, it, and what's funny is you have me, you, and life on this live stream right now going over this. And guess what he's about to say? Mm -hmm. Probably something about the recordings. You know it. On live stream. You know it. <laughs> you First, spoiling. we need to establish what do you mean by no? What do you mean by no? <laughs> what do you mean by well? What do you mean? When you what do you mean by well? Islam? <laughs> what do you mean by is? Look at Joe. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's let's hear what. Let's hear the profound words of uh, Sheikh Rashad. Hey, that's how a snake enters too. Um, excuse me. Can I say something? <laughs> as soon as I heard that, I said, "Oh my gosh, I know exactly who that is." Let's hear it. <laughs> Live stream on Avery's channel right now. If you go and watch the replay. It does. Yeah, I want to add something. Yeah, he, he, reads, he reads about Islam. Yeah, he knows about that. Go, go. If, if I could add, if I could add something here, I just watched go part ahead. of the replay. Okay, so if they have a live stream on Avery's channel right now. If you go and watch the replay, it doesn't look like any Muslim is modding it, right? And it, all it looks like is Avery is running a room, and there's just some Muslims responding. And with respect to HK and uh, and X. You know, he 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 is structuring how the conversation goes. He's saying this is how much time is left. He's saying we're going to talk about this verse. Then he's going to this ayah. He's moderating this conversation, right? So just so you guys know, clearly the information that you guys are presenting, we all know. The Islamic position, we all know. The problems with the biblical position, we all know. But just to be very clear, post, like there's one is which the experience inside of the app when you're in the room itself. There's another thing now, go watch the replay and see how you think of the experience. And Zaytun, this is for you and everyone else. This is exactly what he, he I expected he was gonna do in his live stream, which is just a video of him. So it looks like he's running a room. And secondly, they're gonna have a post commentary on this. And to be honest, I don't even know why it matters to have other mods if Chris the clown and, and all these people are gonna keep jumping in and telling X to shut up and telling AK to do this and mute your mic and this and that. It, it to me, it looked like just one of their typical Christian rooms, their Islamophobic rooms. And that, I that's the only like less than five or 10 minutes of the video. That, that's the only, that's the only thing I hope that, you know, the sincere ones are. How did I get a mention out of uh, Rashad's mouth and not life? How does that work? Should have been calling you clown life. What's going on? Right. Here? Right. I wasn't saying nothing. That's why I didn't I didn't say he gonna bring me up, I'm sure. I'm sure I, I, bar I barely spoke during the debate. Life, can you read the uh, the super chat from DJ? <laughs> we need to define establish. <laughs> oh man, bro. That dude, uh oh, gosh. I love how he's just nitpicking too, and like, oh, all they're gonna do is tell him to shut up and tell him, to... bro. It started with a x respect the time, and then as, as as the more someone keeps speaking and talking and over over talking and cutting you off and not caring about the timer, not caring about the moderation, then that's when people are get irritated, and then it's like, bro, like shut up, be quiet, like just you know what I mean. You gotta get aggressive sometimes to get, to get the point across because obviously being soft with these guys doesn't work. So you can try that all you want, but they'll take advantage of that. But then it's funny because when you start to kind of establish uh, some sort of authority, you know, get aggressive a little bit, then they complain and cry. 
So you can't win for losing with these guys at all. But it's not. Yeah. So so the room is just designed, right, for him to grow his YouTube channel. He could care less oh, who's oh sincere and who's gosh. not. He can care less if the Muslims learn something or don't. He Here can care less if the go. Christians learn something or don't. He's just trying to make money off of his YouTube channel. Right, so we 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 got to stop being so uh, so naive about this, and uh, this is with respect to all of us, including myself. We we have seen how he's he's shifted. In the past, he would at least show up to rooms and have conversations. Now, if it's not on his YouTube channel, it it doesn't even mean anything. It doesn't exist for him. So we got to be more aware of of the people we're engaging with and wh how we're benefiting them. Right? How are we benefiting his bottom bottom dollar? Because he could care less about the subject. Bro, I'm so sick of this dude, man. This I, I'm sick of him, bro. Rashad is retarded, dude. I think he life's best that, friend, ladies and gentlemen. Life's I, best friend. I think he thinks honestly. I think Rashad is so like dumb. I think he thinks that people like as soon as you make a YouTube channel and post a video, you just get money. Like I think I honestly think he thinks that. Like no matter what, I think any anybody. I think. He thinks that anybody who's doing something or posting videos on YouTube speaking about religion is 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 making money, right? Or or is, is just only doing it for the money. When clearly we've had these conversations with guys like Rashad way before we even started a YouTube channel. Twelve hour rooms, eight hour rooms, nine hour rooms, no money involved at all. Now all of a sudden he starts posting these things to YouTube to get a broader audience, a bigger audience. And now all of a sudden, oh, he, Avery's only doing it for money now. This is Rashad's tactics. He wants to try to demean and down your character because he's a hater, dude. You can you can hear it. You can hear he's a hater, bro. Like only someone would. This is listen. Ever since me and Avery started YouTube, look at life. He's going all, on. <laughs> this is all Rashad talks about, bro. Seriously, he no, he no longer wants to have a conversation about Islam with us anymore. It's all about: Are you gonna post? I don't want to talk to you anymore because you're gonna post this on your YouTube channel for money, bro. This dude is retarded. YouTube is has a way bigger audience than Clubhouse. This is why we put it on YouTube. We put it on YouTube to get a bigger audience to reach more people. Rashad is such a coward and scared as a clown and a snake. He only wants these conversations to stay on Clubhouse because I'm sure he knows that the audience on Clubhouse is just the audience on Clubhouse. YouTube reaches billions of people a day. And so, right. I mean, this is stupid, man. Rashad, and, and you know what's funny? Rashad, Rashad was going to him. Rashad mm -hmm. was tuning in to the live stream, ladies and gents. He was tuning into the live stream. Shout out to Rashad for giving us some more views. Exactly. The funny thing about him is he tunes in to the streams, though. You watch the stream. You gave him some money. You gave him some money. But you're you're watching the stream. Oh, he's streaming this right now. This, Yo, this dude. I mean, and the funny part about it is, is he'll go around. You, 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 you'll go around, right? He'll go around these rooms, and he will literally speak on us and these stupid people on this app will believe him he'll come in and he'll say this is what they're doing it for block them don't let them come into our rooms and this and that but then look at how he just ran himself into a corner now oh if he i see he'll have a conversation but now he doesn't care about it unless it's on his youtube channel if it's not on his youtube channel he could care less about it the conversation doesn't exist yeah says the guy who advocates to get all of us blocked so we can't have conversations with you guys now like what are you still what are you complaining about pause what are you there, complaining though. about pa pause there pause there though so Solomon Pope says at Logic, how much, how much Rashad charge you rent in his head? <laughs> but this is also a good one too right here. Uh, man, shout out, uh, helper of man. She says, they forgot Muhammad made people give him money for one-on-one -on -one meetings. The hypocrisy is hilarious. And he literally and charged for that. And the problem here is, is that Rashad has basically just condemned Shadid Lewis as well. Um, I actually asked Shadid Lewis years ago to debate, and he said he'd only debate if he was given a specific amount of cash. Right. Right. He only debates with a certain amount of cash given to him. Absolutely. 
Uh, they didn't pay him enough to to go out uh, and debate Anthony Rogers in person. That's why he didn't debate in person. Yeah. We also have Ariel saying money for reserves, brother. Money for reserves. <laughs> yeah, I just want to thank uh, I just want to thank Rashad and all the Muslims in this room for making a room so that God Logic was able to put it on his live stream and we could make more money off of you guys talking about us in your room. So thank you, right. very much, Muslims and Rashad. <laughs> Awesome, man. Mosh Yeshua. Bro, for I've never time. seen I've never seen anyone openly like Rashad, you like Rashad has found the conversation he wants to have about us. And and, yes. and he, he uses this in his everyday conversations He's now. Found his niche. All exactly. All money. Oh, that's what at first it was at first it was we're liars. We come in, we lied. Now, oh, you have YouTube channels? Oh, they're only doing it for money. All right, they're doing it for money. That's it. That's it. That's what I'm running with. I'm running with this now, and it's 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 stupid. You know what I mean? Like, bro, just just you're such a hater, dude. Like, what about Rumsey? What is Rumsey doing it for? What about mm. Rumsey? Rumsey mm. has a YouTube channel. What about mm. these other guys? What about Ejaz? What about right. other guys? What about Issa Dawa? It's all for the bro. They're they're genuine. It's all for it's all for the love of sake. Yeah, they're not doing it for money, even though they ask for donations thirty times a day. Mm. Even though they got all these, even though they got all these commercials on our videos asking for eight hundred and seventy five thousand dollars to build the world's biggest mosque or something. Be sure in to know. Be sure to know that Allah will increase one dollar a thousand fold in Jenna. A thousand fold in in Jenna if you donate to this mosque, alhamdulillah. Yeah, when they tell you, oh, oh, uh, invest in your hereafter by donating so we can build invest this mosque. Invest in your hereafter. What a demonic message, man. Invest in your hereafter. That so is basically, buy, buy your way into heaven. Buy your hmm. way into paradise. That's right. Put down invest that deposit. Invest in your hereafter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta put a deposit down on my put afterlife. A deposit here. down. <laughs> Hold we my spot. Like, Let me drop just, this deposit off. <laughs> just what I says at God Logic Apologetics. I've seen you ask for likes, not money or donations. My yeah. Shashua, God bless you. But yeah, that's real. I've, I haven't asked uh, for money at all on this channel. Uh, God has put it, the Holy Spirit puts it on your hearts to give uh, as you guys give. We've even, the Holy Spirit has even moved Muslims to to to, uh, to give to the channel, y'all. We remember those days <laughs> when even Muslims came uh, on the Super Chat a few times, man. Yeah, and so. one of them's getting uh, reamed out in this room. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yo, what's going on, brother? <laughs> your brother in Christ, good to see you. Okay, let's keep going, guys, because, man, we, we haven't even got to the Ishmael part yet. So let's keep going. Uh, so we just heard uh, uh, Rashad's little two cents, and that's the last we'll hear of him. And so now let's go ahead. Thank ah, God. Let's go ahead to this this beautiful part here. Oh, sorry. Let me mute up. Get Remember, guys, headphones. I, I have knowledge, right? I have knowledge, more, more knowledge about Islam than the Muslims on this app. Watch now what, what has been said. So they didn't really establish him. It's absolutely pointless. Absolutely pointless. Uh, brothers, I wanted uh, to mention one other thing. Every, every is a defeated person, by the way. Every. That's what I've been saying. Very, very, very exactly. defeated. He is really. Yes. He is really in so much struggle. He's terrible. That, he like he has no knowledge whatsoever. Yes, and he he that, took okay, a he's hit defeated. Yes, yes. Sam, that is Islam. Something like him and Chicken Prince, he is really in so much struggle. He's terrible. That, he, he like he has no knowledge whatsoever. Yes, and he's only that, took okay, a he's hit defeated. Okay, yes, Sam. So, in one breath, I have more knowledge than the Muslims on this app. Uh, and in another breath, I'm really struggling and I'm really defeated and I have no knowledge at all. I'm just an ignorant buffoon. Uh, desperate for Muslim attention. And Ingrid uh, Buffoon's got more knowledge than Muslims on the app, though, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> this ignorant buffoon got more. What does that say about them? Chris, that's a good point. That's Harry a good point, Osama, now we know. 
a real profits and a bro, little profit to share. <laughs> bro, this has to be, you got to put those two together, bro. Every has a lot of knowledge about Islam, a lot more than a lot of Muslims, and then cut it right back to this. Every has no knowledge. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and these same guys are actually like agreeing with him too. Like, brother, this oh, is yeah. so dumb, bro. This is He's good. a defeated person. <laughs> yeah, he has like no knowledge. You know what we should do? We should do a, a collage just on this video alone of literally them saying the opposite statements apart from each other, like right back to back. I have a bunch because there's a bunch of that in here. We we saw with the uh, X planet, oh, they, they, they let us speak, and then him saying they don't let us speak. Avery has knowledge; he doesn't have knowledge. Uh, all this kind of stuff. Uh, uh, that they they're not following the rules. Avery Avery was moderate, and Rashad comes on and says Avery was moderating and and controlling the room. <laughs> so it's uh, there's a lot of that in here, man. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Remember, I'm struggling with no knowledge. That is Islam, something like him and Chicken Prince and all these people, they are spiritually defeated and they want to bring Islam down. They know that their their belief is garbage. They know that. And this is how they make it up by dragging the Muslims who are ignorant or who are naive. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not care if they get the message or they don't get the message. They, he doesn't care if my protocol or my etiquette or my prestige, I have to be fair to this, I have to be fair to that. Allah said, don't sit with them. It means one thing and one thing only, do not sit with them. They now, remember, I only go for ignorant Muslims like Sheikh Uthman, uh, Ijaz Ahmed, you know, uh, Muslims like that. I only go for the the, the ignorant Muslims like those um, to to try to take advantage of those poor guys. Um, you know, we got ignorant Muslims like a, a sheikh saying that there's multiple messiahs in Islam, that a footnote is a hadith, and we also have uh, you know ignorant Muslim not knowing how to say the shahada with Muhammad Dur Rasulullah instead of Muhammad Den Rasulullah, not knowing what the Idafa state is. And so on and so forth. So I only target those type of people, you know, uh, in order to bolster Christianity. So, subhanAllah. Let's keep going. Oh, let's get to the part where they tell Ishmael, you shut up and listen, you left shoulder. Ismail, Ismail, save your... We leave that that room, the other Muslims go over there. Let's just be tactical with how we do things and support one another so people don't end up with the in, in the wings of the flock or the, the, the sheep. I'm sorry, left. brother. And don't go into Virgil's room. I'm sorry, brother. brother Ismail, Ismail, save your to, thoughts. I've been... Ismail, Ismail, save your thoughts. Don't don't put them on here because we want to learn from you. If, uh, if some Muslims, uh, uh, you have the receipt. Okay, that's fine. Uh, or the recipe. Uh, hold tight your your horses and listen yeah. and learn from this. I just wanted to conclude Akhi, Akhi Styles with the ayah because the ayah mm -hmm. says the ayah says you are uh, uh, they indulge they, I did I did accept that they indulge in arguments. Subhanallah, amazing hadith. Go for um, it, it's fine. Okay, without salam alaikum. Now now I'm going to come to Zay's tone's honor and I'm going to defend him because you can't show me nowhere in the Quran or the Sona where it's not permissible for him to mod if they're not mocking. Wow. If you can show me that, if you could, if you can show me proof, I'll say, you know what? I'm incorrect. It, it, I'm wrong. About all That's fair. That's fair. What the, the question that he asked is fair. Y'all see this? So we we got we got a left shoulder in there that's not backing down. He's like, show me in the Quran where we can't mod with them if they're not mocking. If they're being respectful, why can't we engage with them and mod with them? Show me that in Islam. Show me in the deen. Good stuff, Ish. Now, notice Zay is he was silent. He's quiet. I, I, he probably disappeared, honestly. Oh no, he's still here. He right here. Still with that that same uh that, that account. That's him. Still there, silent, obeying Massa, obeying his Arab handlers. 
But Ishmael steps up and says, yo, show me this in the Quran where we can't do this, man. Come on, man. Y'all don't know your dean, man. Come on, Let's get man. these ayats, man. <laughs> let's go. Let's go, Ish. All right. Let's see. Uh, let me get back on here. Let's go, Ish. All over the yeah, I would tell you, calm down, calm yeah, down, yeah, calm yeah, down. Yeah, down. Yeah, Everybody, yeah, calm yeah, down. And another thing, one thing one I want to say, one you guys, person listen, at a listen, time. You guys, Ismail, listen. the floor is yours. I love you, brother. No, but Ismail, you asked the question. Ismail, you asked the question. Ismail. Y'all see the disruptiveness that one question launched? And now they're already muting him. They're talking over him, muting him, treating him like a mushrik. They are treating him like a mushrik. You kufar, Ishmael, you kufar. You kufar. <laughs> Let's go. So this is what, what's happening right here, guys. Um, <clears throat> so they, they already muted him, already talking over him, yada, yada, yada. This is amazing. Uh, just in case you watch this, uh, Ishmael, look at all these people loving uh, you standing up for yourself, man, and standing up for Zaytun when Zaytun tucked in his private part and wouldn't speak up for himself. That's right. That's right. And, and, and I will say for Ishmael, even though he is a Muslim, he is a man of his word. He made a bet or he made a deal with me. He went through with his deal 100%. Amen. Amen. Um, we have a, another super chat, another gift from Ben. Got you, Ben. Thank you so much, brother. So he says, I've been broke lately, man. Knowing how Abdul's uh, monetarily support anyone that speaks uh, decently, decently about Islam, no matter how stupid it is. I've been thinking of making a channel positively reacting to videos of science in the Quran. <laughs> Did y'all get it? Yeah. <laughs> you can get on there and start making money off Muslims. That's and it, right. actually, it actually makes sense because mm -hmm. if you actually go on YouTube, you'll have people like the uh, open-minded thinker that used to be the Christian what person, right? That we ended yeah. up going at him. He changed his name and everything. But you have these people that react to these Islamic videos. They're like, oh my God, I've never seen this before. And it, even if it's the stupidest video you've ever seen in your life, like, oh, I never knew Islam taught this. And and then you go from like maybe a couple hundred subscribers, you, you know, you'll mm -hmm. hit you'll hit your thousand. And then once you get your thousand, you're like 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. <laughs> like it, it's unreal. And yeah. even even that Rumsey that we were talking about, He's got his own YouTube channel. He's mm -hmm. almost hit. I think he's hit 10,000 mm -hmm. subscribers mm -hmm. now on YouTube. Yeah. It's unreal. Yeah. It's amazing. That's how it is, man. Um, but, yeah, so thank you so much, Ben. Uh, you know, Lord willing, go ahead and start that channel, man, and uh, have have the uh, have the Anjashas support your ministry. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Um, we got... Uh, Al Masi, this is worth saying. Al Masi, he says, Ishmael is the man. All the other Muslims on on their stage is Aisha's sisters. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. If y'all loving this, please leave a like. Please leave a like. If y'all loving this, man, this is fun. Let's keep going. One minute, Ahmed. Why did you ask the question? One minute, brother. You know me. One okay, minute. Can, 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 can brother just calm down. down. Can brother Ahmed, hold down, brother bro. Ali, a moderate the room. Hold on a second. Everybody close the, 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 the mic. It's either brother uh, uh, Styles or brother Ali. Go, go, Styles. Okay. Yeah. Go first, Styles. Go for it, Answer your question. Yeah. So you asked the question. So when Benny Davis was breathing, whatever he was reading, and when he was lying about the prophet and calling him all sorts of things, wasn't that, wasn't that, what was that all about? So Ishmael's question was, if the Christians are being respectful, why can't we mod with them? I heard no, I heard, I heard no verse. Did nope. Else? <laughs> nope, not at all. No verse yet. Um, just we're hearing now 
a oh oh we got other brothers in here what's going on you guys oh hey man podcast is back how long you been back there man can you guys hear me rob you're here yeah yeah i see them here i just don't hear them here rob, rob was in that room and they kicked rob out too rob yo was did he hear listen, did he hear listen. me talk about the or the chaldeans like an argo no no you was having a full I discussion. It, I have it. I have it recorded. It's it's only ten minutes long. You need to play it. It's, I will. It's vital. <laughs> I will. I will. Okay, but let's let's go ahead and get through this, dude. You was in this sure. room and they kicked you out. Remember? Uh, I forget now. But yeah, play it. But then I I want everyone to be witness to what happened like an hour ago. It is seriously. It is hilarious. Okay. All right. So uh, all right. Let's keep going. So. They they redirected uh, and deflected Ishmael's question, and now are give, is giving a free shout out to Danny Davis when all he was doing was reading about the prophet, and somehow him reading about the prophet is him lying about the prophet. Mash Allah. Let's keep going. Tell me have some. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, So when the prophet, when Danny Davis was reading out the statement from the Islamophobe website and he was lying on the prophet and he was, and they openly, openly when... Aki Omi, his, his connection's gone. Please, let's let's not go into, into the comparison thing. Let's just answer the question directly. He asked a direct question. Right. Yeah, ma me ma answer, ca can, can I? Can someone answer it, please? Um, I think Wassam and Muhammad, you um, you guys, um, I'm muted to answer. Can someone just answer the question I, directly, I, please? Let's not go into anything I else. I would just ask, simply ask him if he really honest and he think that they don't mock. Yeah, uh, I, I, I cut off. I think. Yeah, do, do uh, Ismail, do you think honestly? Do you think they don't mock Islam? Can you? I didn't hear you. What did you say? Honestly, do you think? Uh, they don't mock Islam. Do I think um, God logic and um, yeah, and Danny and the Christians, and Christians mock Islam? Yeah, yeah. yeah, sometimes they do. Certain days they do mock Islam, and sometimes they don't. Some days they do. Sometimes so, they don't. Uh, so um, out of hundred. Wait, what the heck? It's not a ratio thing, yeah, bro. No, no, like, no, if yeah, somebody, yeah. If somebody, yeah, I'm just saying, if you guys can't show me that, if you can't show me that, then I, I, you have to I, I, stop I, I, taking this position and stop backing up. How about this? Okay, uh, Ishmael, I'll, I'll just say this. Every time I come in your room, there's someone mocking Islam. How about that? All the time. Yeah, that's not true. That's, that's my fact. personal observation. I said, I no, I said, when I come in your room, every time I see someone mocking Islam in the comment section or on stage. What you consider? I'm not saying this is your fault. Someone saying else oh, about the Prophet or Allah. So there we got HK again, straight up now lying about Ishmael. He doesn't even go in Ishmael's rooms. Uh, uh, but when he does, he's saying now, every time I go in your room, there's always mocking an, uh, uh, about, about, uh, about Islam. How about that? That's what he said. How about that? So now he's just making something up and throwing out an accusation just to accuse him. Just to bog them down. This is what this cult does. Let's keep going. This is beautiful. Look at Ishmael standing his ground. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But he qualifies that later and they hate it. They hate this. They can't stand what Ishmael's doing. Wait, wait, wait. When, when they were saying, what, uh, when Danny Davis. Can I just, can when, I add, me, add me real quick I, before I, Customer walks in? Yeah. Because he asked about yes. Anik Aya. Let's see if he's, let's see if he's honest, inshallah. So this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Ali Imran. Okay, it's verse 118. It says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, min dunikum, la ya'lunakum khabalan, waddu ma anittum, qad badatil baghda'u min afwahihim wa ma tukhfi suduruhum akbar. O you who believe, do not take as insiders, people confidants, people from outside of you. They love when you are stricken with something. Indeed, uh, Enmity has come from their mouths, and what their chests conceal is even worse. Do you think that the God logic this applies to him? Ish? Ishma. Yes, it does. Um, no, no, no. Let, let Ishma answer. Yeah, that applies. I, I feel like that applies to him. Okay. Yeah, is, is this is this verse sufficient for you? 
But but long wait, as he has life in his body, he he can he can be a believer if he has life That's in his body. He, he's not dead yet. Wait, please, please, please. He's not dead. Wait, are y'all done? Please. Can please, I can please. I can I make one statement quickly, Styles? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I've just been. Wait, are y'all done? Go ahead. Please, please, Who's this girl know, speaking please, now? Do, but everyone. Who's the girl speaking now? God, that's like... that's that Atachi coward. Oh, that's a boy. No, it's a girl. Oh, okay. I, it's I, a girl. I, sounded like a girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, it's a, it's a girl. She goes by Itachi. Uh, that's an anime character's name, um, and. Yeah, so she's the girl who always runs from Jai and Paul uh, when so they bring out the Arabic. So she's uh, using an idol for a name? I don't know. It's yes, a, a picture, yes. An anime, yeah. It's, hala, it's haram. But, yeah. So this, this, is, uh, this, is, the, yeah, this is her. Um, and now she's trying to hop on the bandwagon. Just, uh, just context, you guys. I spoke to her in a room uh, about a week and a half ago, Zaytun was in their audience, and her and another Muslim, uh, well, she was saying how she can talk to me, she, you know, and how I'm respectful. I don't bash the religion and stuff like that. I have, but she doesn't usually like, uh, like the people like Danny Davis and the, those type of mushriks, Chris Claus, you know, those those these type of uh, uh, kufars. She says I'm the best out of them, and uh, and shows she can have conversations with me anytime. Right, I'm respectful. This is what she. This is what she told me a week and a half ago. So uh, here we are now. She's modded in this room where they're coming at God Logic, and uh, and she's trying to oppose. You know, she could, no, is she gonna keep the same energy? Oh, she's not. No, it it, it changed. You know how how Muslims do. <laughs> you know how Muslims do. Come on. All right, let's go. Let's see what she has to say if they let her speak. No, please just mute your mic because we, we need to sort this out with order. Please, okay, go on. Yeah, all all I was gonna say, right, is that we we know these people and we know that honestly, any time I've ever gone into the room, and I haven't gone too much, right, but any time that I've ever gone in there, all I hear them talking about is Islam. So to say that they don't always do it or that they, it, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, it's not true. Every single time I go in there. It's always about Islam. They never open rooms about their Bible. They never open rooms preaching their gospel and all this stuff like they're supposed to actually do. It's always about Islam. And when they do talk about Islam, it's like they have daggers on their tongues when they're speaking about it. It's never something that's good, never something that's beneficial. It's always the same thing, too, or almost always the same thing. It's always that one ayah that's in Surah Al-Talaq, and it's about the Aida and all of this stuff. And mm -hmm. I think anybody in here could attest to that. Well, do the so, Muslim so community do, do we talk about their religion? We speak about, but we, speaking yeah, about the religion is one thing. Yes, yeah, speaking about the religion. One second, one second, one second. Let me answer this. That boy, Ishmael. Y'all see Ishmael calling out that hypocrisy? Y'all see that? Hypoc hypocrisy 101. Like, they did, like, what do you mean? It's like, oh, it, 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 first of all, didn't we, Sam, say, oh, well, it's not a ratio thing? Okay, so mm -hmm. it shouldn't matter how many times someone talks about something else. They know we can talk about the Bible. We do that as well. But we are not preaching. We're doing apologetics. Do they mm -hmm. not know the difference between the two? We mm -hmm. are here to tear down the falsehood of Islam. We've made that clear. So this is the reason why we come on here and we speak about Islam. Do we have a problem speaking about the Bible? No, not at all. But we are not. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a preacher. I come on the app to tear down the falsehood of Islam. And I'll say that right now. That's what I'm here to do. I'm not here to preach. You guys can You're go there. listen to a preacher all you want. I am not a preacher. I do apologetics against Islam. That's what I do. And so mm -hmm. that's why you see me having conversations about Islam. Why? Because Islam talks about my religion. Islam stepped his foot over into my yard when it doesn't need to be there. So now I right. need to get that foot off of my yard so then we can kind of move forward. Okay. That's right. So that's what I'm here to do. It's not my fault. It's Allah's fault. Allah decided to speak about Christianity and now Muslims are crybabies because Christians are fighting back. That's right. Yeah. And so y'all like Ishmael though? Ishmael like, wait a minute. Wait, but don't don't we make rooms talking about talking about them and their religion though? They don't they talk nice about up. our Bible. <laughs> they shut him up, man. 
They shut him up. They silenced him. They talking over him. All this kind of stuff. This is beautiful. I think Danny yeah. Davis's uh, uh, comment uh, needs to go up too. Where? Where? Did Atachi suckle all of those Muslim men <laughs> on stage before sharing a stage with them? That's important. That's that is important. important. That is important. That's the dean. That's the dean, man. And if all so, right, <laughs> they're all brothers through suckling now. That's right. Speaking about the religion is one thing. We're not mocking them. We're simply speaking out what their religion says. But when they speak about our religion, what do they say? They call the, the Prophet wasallam. They'll call him that P word. They'll call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala many names that you know is not applicable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and things that we should not be listening to with regards to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? Well, Bakari shouldn't have put it in the, in the hadith. Come on. Well, Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Sunan Ibn Majah, uh, Jamia Termidi, Sunan Anasai. These people should not have collected these hadiths that talk about your prophet marrying a six-year-old and sleeping with her when she's nine years old. He should not have done that. Your book should not be saying that Allah is the best of deceivers. Shouldn't have done that. Your, uh, your uh, hadith should not be saying that Allah wants people to sin. And that if we don't sin, he'll erase us from, from uh, existence, sweep us out of existence, and replace us with people who will sin just so he can forgive them. Your, 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 your Quran, your book, should not have said that Allah taught people witchcraft and then punishes people for using witchcraft. Your, your book should not have taught that it's okay to marry and sleep with prepubescent girls and divorce them. It should not, your book should not have taught these things. Why, why, why on earth would I speak and mention these things? Because it's in your Islamophobic books. And not just that, but Allah doesn't know the difference between Sumerian and Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> that, he, that he continues the myth of Abraham being saved from the fire of the Chaldeans. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to get to that. I can't wait. So this is, this is the stuff that we bring out that's in your own sources. Why do we talk about such things, I wonder, Chris Claus, Life, Rob, Amen Podcast? Why do you mention such things? Why in the world do you mention that Allah yeah, brings if, up it, that, existing... That's a good question. Excuse me. Yeah, sorry. Why do, y why do we... Because <laughs> we like making stuff up, man. Why, why, do yeah. we, why do we even bring up the fact that Allah mentions Samaritans existing during the time of Moses? Why would we yeah, even bring that know. up in chapter two? Oh, Alexander the Great as a prophet? I don't know about <laughs> you guys, but I like making stuff up. I like making stuff up about Islam all day. I mean, I don't I don't recall I don't recall getting that information that he married a six year old Mary's, anywhere. Mary's body know? being preserved for fifteen hundred years. Mash Yeshua. Wow. This is amazing. All right, let's keep going. Let's that's things that I created on my own, man. You made this up. You made this up. You only lie about the religion, Rob, and life. You guys just lie about the religion. I'm sorry. All right. It's okay. It's okay. I, may, I may, Allah forgive you. may Allah forgive you. If you will. Allah. So it's it's like daggers on their tongues. We're not speaking like we have daggers on our tongues. We're speaking to, to inform people of the truth at the end of the day. Right, okay. we're, we're trying to get me, people to me, the, 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 the Okay, yeah, go ahead. let me okay, take can I give this you a verse, hold, hold, hold on a second, hold on a second this morning. Now, we Muslims believe in Isa alayhi salam. We believe in the revelation that he came with. We believe in the message that he came with. Now, that I'm like we have, like we have daggers on our tongues. We're speaking. How do you know for Musa, the people in this? Of course not. But we know for a fact that every, every when he comes, he to ask questions about Islam, he have done so much research. I promise you, Ismail, I promise you uh, a lot of, uh, I promise you probably every knows more things about Islam than me and than you, than a lot of people in this room, a lot of people in the whole world. I've done so much research. I promise you, Ismail, I promise you uh, a lot of, uh, I promise you, Probably every knows more things about Islam than me and than you, than a lot of people in this room, a lot of people in the whole world. He have done even they don't believe in the whole entire of Islam. So when he comes to me with a contention, 
Is that your only contention about Islam? Of course not. But we know for a fact that every when he comes, he to ask questions about Islam. He have done so much research. I promise you, Ismail. I promise you, uh, a lot of. Uh, I promise you, probably every knows more things about Islam than me and than you than a lot of people in this room. A lot of people in the whole world. I, I promise you that he's done more reading about Islam like the guy from from Denmark, the Dutch guy from Denmark, who said who got all these books and he started reading about Islam so he can write against Islam. But that guy was sincere. His hatred to Islam was out of ignorance and sincerity. But every uh, his hatred to Islam uh, uh, with knowledge, he knows that he's a liar. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Did y'all just hear that? There was a guy who hated Islam out of ignorance, and that equals sincerity. I hate Islam because of my research and knowledge about Islam, which makes me disingenuous. <laughs> but according to him, I know more about Islam than most Muslims in the world, probably. Mosh Yeshua. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I don't that, that's the dumbest thing ever, man. Wow. Yeah. And he even said the other guy, what what did he say? He said the other guy uh got a bunch of books and read up on it and things like that. I no, he know. he said that yeah, he was saying that guy was reading books to try to refute Islam and out of his ignorance hated Islam. Right? Out of his ignorance mm -hmm. hated Islam, but he was sincere. Mm -hmm. I've done research, I've read books. I've looked up the scholars and read the Quran and I have hatred for Islam because of my knowledge. I have hatred of, of Islam with knowledge, not ignorance, which makes yeah. me disingenuous. Yeah, that's they, dumb. They uh these Muslims on Clubhouse, they need to be calling you Imam God Logic from now on. It is not just God Logic, it is Imam God Logic. Because just as this guy has already said, there's not one Muslim on Clubhouse, even him, that knows more about the Quran than Avery. He said the whole world. He said, I know more about Islam than most Muslims in the whole world, probably. That's right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oof, 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 Chris Prince. <laughs> but look at the backwards thinking, guys. The backwards thinking. You can only be sincere in engaging with Islam if you're ignorant. That's it. You cannot be sincere in engaging with Islam if you're knowledgeable about it, if you've done your research. You can't be sincere. That's tough. That's tough. Let's keep it going, guys. Let's keep it going. I, that was one of my favorite parts. But remember, just before that, I'm struggling, I am desperate, and I am ridiculous. I have no knowledge. I have no knowledge. But now I have more knowledge than most Muslims in the world. I do my research. I read the books. <laughs> Mufti got <God> logic. <laughs> oh, man. Praise God. Praise God. Let's keep going. It's not like he's sincere. No, every knows that he's a liar. So when we speak about Christianity or about Judaism, about Ibrahim, about Adam, we're speaking about our deen, that these guys are lying on our prophets and messengers. Like when we speak about Shia or we speak about all these deviants. Who, okay, know, not not ABC, can I say one honest. thing to the brother Styles, please? We are just, who is, we are who just, is God logic compared to Pharaoh? How did Allah tell uh, Musa to go did, to Musa? Did, okay. did Musa, okay. like, did Musa this, mod him? Did Musa this. mod him on a panel, bro? What are you talking about? We're not saying I'm asking you how did Allah tell the that's, that's, that's not the same thing. It's money. It's money. It's did Allah it's money. Adam, hey, tell him go on an expedition with Pharaoh and and uh, be on a. So now they're muting Ishmael because he's bringing up a, a, a pretty cool example. He's saying, "Who is God logic to Pharaoh? Like, what is he to Pharaoh? You know what I'm saying? Even Moses, God sent Moses to speak to Pharaoh, who was a disbeliever, who was a blasphemer, who uh, claimed to be a god. He said, "I am God" in the Quran. He claimed to be God, and yet Allah still sent Moses to give him dawah to bring him to the straight path, to send him with signs and wonders to believe. 
That's what that's the point that uh that that Ishmael is making here. And they're saying you're an idiot. Did 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 Musa mod uh Pharaoh? Did he make him a mod? Did he mod with him? Did he run a room with Pharaoh? Oh my god, so dumb. That's just the dumbest response ever, bro. Man. <laughs> this is seriously God logic is fair. <laughs> yeah. So this is this is what they do, man. Yeah, exactly. Muslims talk of love, but their book instructs to hate and oppress non-Muslims. Very deceptive book. <laughs> Let my people go. All right, let's keep going. Y'all, y'all, you guys are killing me. Panel with him. Show me where it belongs to be on this every day. I just did. 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 I gave you the ayah. I gave you the ayah. I gave you the ayah. You can allow your hate. Yeah, another another ayah. Another ayah. I had to mute you out. Avery, just just quickly. Since I've joined in late, can you like spend just maybe two minutes very briefly? Clarifying to me, is there a, is there a Muslim in that room that is worried about Christians like you and me that are approaching this academically, and they are yeah. the ones crowding on him? Is that is that what's going on here? Yes. So um, we 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 had a a debate room with the Muslims, slavery in Islam versus slavery in the Bible. I was a moderator. Oh, yes. And, yep. Yes, and the Muslim was a moderator. Um, excuse me. And uh, so the Muslims now, they're, this is their reaction room to that. They are upset with the Muslims for, one, modding with me, and two, even engaging in the conversation in a moderated debate way. Uh, they hated it. They're getting on them for that. And so Ishmael here, or King, the one who's King here, he's like defending that. Like he's like, uh, the, why, why would we, you know, uh, not mod with them or have rooms with them? if they're being respectful and it's moderated and things of this nature. Can you show me where in the Quran or in the Dean does it say that we can't mod with Christians if they're respectful? And if they're, you know, we're having conversations like this um, and, you know, they're just jumping on him and muting him and hopping on him and sh trying to silence him. Uh, and they already, they silenced the other Muslim, the one that I was modded with, they silenced him. He's still on the stage. They silenced him, told him to shut up, listen, and yada, yada. He's tucked his tail and tucked in his private part and uh, said, yes, Massa, I'll listen. But Ishmael's defending, he's standing uh, uh, standing his ground for, for his opinion here. Oh, that's good. I th I'm glad yeah. he's standing his ground. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I briefly was in that in that room and I briefly heard the, um, the debate. And <laughs> as far as I remember, you actually stuck to your time and... You know the, mm -hmm. the whole modding thing was was done well like yeah like yeah so um but i i i didn't know that this was in response to that yeah now i'm now i'm remembering i i come in here sometime don't i like, yeah I yeah know, you come right? in there at, at some point and then they kick you out later when they recognize yeah. who you are <laughs> <laughs> i'm like oh rob is rob is he is yeah. uh he's he's almost there with us <laughs> <laughs> he's almost there with us um yeah. Uh, uh, they, yeah, they mentioned they mentioned you uh, about the, the the Chaldean thing. What Sam did, and he was like, "Oh, I wish you guys didn't kick him because I wanted to smack him around on that a little bit." So I, I, I was, I, was uh, I don't, I didn't mark that part down, but they did. They said, that "Oh, in, that's in, great in, because I did talk to them. They, they were they were doing a fifty thousand dollar challenge about oh, an hour ago. He was in that room. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you see, you see the title. The title is Muslims. Uh, co-modding with Islam's mockers are hypocrites. So they're attacking them for modding with me. All right. Yeah. All right, so let's keep going. <clears throat> We're almost done, guys. Sorry. Hold on. Let me mute up. One mic, brothers and sisters. One mic. Yeah, You're adding to the no, noise. It's mad, you know? Yeah. Yes, man. Yeah. You know, um, you know. Go on, Sorry. go on, Mama. Don't move it around. Just, just, just right. go on, Mama. You know, you know, you know when when Allah sent Moses to 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 Pharaoh. Okay, that was the beginning. What did what did he do in the end? Did he still like giving him dawah in the end? 
I can't hear you. What did you say, brother? I can't hear you. So when when Moses has been sent to Pharaoh, you, if you go to his YouTube channel, you'll see what they do. So we don't have chance. We don't have. We're not even allowed to give them a chance to speak to them anymore. We can speak to other Christians that they sincere. The brothers, they do it all the time. Someone who's polite, well-mannered, respectful. We can have conversation over and over and over. We're talking about specific individual. All what they show in bigotry and hatred. That's all what they're doing. Can okay. I say something? Can I say something? ABC to you, to you. Benny, Benny. I'm involved I'm, in the situation. Sorry. So it's, it's please, um, Ishmael. Uh, so just a little remember benny they just kicked benny off the stage they just kicked benny the one who was saying hey can i say something really quick they just kicked him off the stage he was the one who was also saying yes we should engage with the christians uh and refute them we should refute their claims we should engage with them we should let them speak when we have the upper hand and refute them uh and so when he just tried to speak up on this uh he just uh they just kicked him they just kicked him out so and that's a, that's a Sunni Muslim, guys. This is how they treat Muslims when you go against the grain. When you push against the cult moves, they, they, this is how they treat you. They treat you like you're a disbeliever. Um, what a religion of peace, a religion of love. Let's keep going. Um, respond to that. And then I think Sister Itash, you wanted to give you another ayat. Uh, the... It went the man does not mock Islam every yeah, yeah, yeah. That. and I know uh, look, 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 look. let's let's just be honest that's, that's why they gave you the verse just take in the verse and understand did they want to know do you understand bro we're we not styles brother I love you for the sake of our listen styles the man does not mock Islam every single day I I bear it true does. testimony to that the guy don't do it you cannot allow your hate for a person to 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 affect your uh your 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 dean man and you this are is that's that's not true that's not true that's not true hey, you, that's you not guys, true if, can i just game man it's really really sticking up yeah he he's you know, not true to it bro mm -hmm. yeah they get mad at him for it bro that's crazy. I and this Ishmael is a Muslim uh, he he fully believes in the dean he he's a uh a Full, like, you know, full believer in Islam, and he believes that, you know, they're not acting according to Islam. Now, I spoke to him later or earlier today, and I told him, like, now I'm sorry to tell you, but you're a bad Muslim. You, Ishmael, you're a bad Muslim. They're the good Muslims. They're the ones who are more acting more in accordance with their religion. You are acting more like Christ in this in this scenario. So you're in the mm -hmm. wrong place, man. You're in the wrong place. It, it, I, we, we were talking to him last night, and he was going through this last night, and I said, there's only one way out of this, Ishmael. Just accept <laughs> Christ as, as your true God. Right, right. Yeah, Ishmael been decimating these guys. Absolutely. So um, so Ishmael's telling them, like, y'all, uh, Logic is not disrespecting the religion and mocking the religion every day, man. He's not doing this all the time, like y'all saying that he's doing it. This is, I'm telling you from my own witness, he does not do that. And they and they hopped y'all uh, quickly. They hopped on them, they erupted the room. Everyone's coming off their mic and speaking. Look what's happening here, guys. Hold on, let's play that back. Allow your hate for a person. Verse, just take in the verse and understand. Did they want to know? Do you understand, bro? We not Styles, brother. I love you for the sake of our listen, Styles. The man does not mock Islam every single day. I, I bear he true does. testimony to that. The guy don't do it. You cannot allow your hate for a person to 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 affect your uh your 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 dean, man. And you that's, 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 that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Can I just mute one mic? One mic. Did Hitler wake up every day and curse Jews? I I bet you Hitler had some weekends where he did not talk about Jews. Wow. Weekends where he woke up, had some eggs, and and went about his day. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Can I just mute one mic? One mic. Did Hitler wake up every day and curse Jews? I bet I bet you Hitler had some weekends where he didn't talk about Jews. Okay. I bet you Hitler has no. What Sam's had response is terrible. Man. The more the more I've learned about with Sam, or the more I've interacted with him, the more 
what I would like to call religious constipated he actually is. He just <laughs> needs to prove a point regardless of how ridiculous the you know the comparison is. So you're he's equating you to Hitler. Mm -hmm. Hitler like, logic. <laughs> like what how the heck cognitively do you just jump from you know a co modding situation, right? to an atrocious individual in the last century. It's like... <laughs> yes, yes. And and yeah. hang on, Hitler, Hitler? Hitler doing stuff to the Jews. Oh, the hypocrisy. Especially <laughs> when the Jews are considered to be uh, under Allah's curse mm -hmm. in the Quran. That's tough. That's I tough. mean, it's in Surah 1, right? Like the last That's ayah it. of Surah 1 that you have to pray five times a day, literally says, show us a straight way, not the way of those whom Allah is, you know, is, is his, his wrath and his judgment, and that is the Jews and the Christians. Yep. So, so you got to grow, uh, awkward. You gotta grow a Hitler mustache now, Avery. Well, yeah, you I was gonna say, last time I checked, uh, Hitler was the wrong color for you to be Hitler, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, Andrew Martin pointed out that he praised Islam. Mm. Yeah, he did. Oh, look at the the Grand Mufti joined the side. Man, this is incredible. So I'm Hitler now, guys. I'm Hitler now, according to Wasab. All right, where's your mind Kampf? Come on. Hey, I, uh, <laughs> off camera, off camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want YouTube to get a reason to shut this down now. Off camera, though, I got you. All right, let's see. So y'all see the response here, guys. Uh, Ishmael says you shouldn't allow your hatred for a person to basically like disrupt disrupt your your dean, how you conduct yourself in the religion, to be unjust and fair to people. Um, and he does not do this every day. Logic is not out here cursing the religion and mocking the religion every day like y'all saying he does. Uh, oh, oh I, I bet Hitler spent a weekend not saying something about the Jews. Man, Wassam, you are a brilliant genius. Wow. Beautiful response. So profound. The same ayat that Wassam gave, uh, listen, Ishmael, you yourself affirmed that this fits uh, Avery and, and them. right? All believers do not associate closely with others who would not miss a chance to harm you. Their only desire is to see you suffer. You said this is them. This applies to them. And it says, do not sit or do not associate with them. Their prejudice has become evident from what they say. And what their hearts hide is far worse. We have made our revelations clear to you, if only you understood. And I'll just give one ayah from Surah Al-Ahzab. It says, it is not... Avery tend to do this when certain things... You want to, you want to say around the Thank question, you. Thank you. One cusses your mom and your sister. Most of time, most would you sit down with them? What would you, bro? You ask to be quick, bro. You and I both know nobody gonna sit Answer down. The there. Thank you, thank you. That's right. The we, you giving me a, a that, circus. No, I, I would not sit. Why. No. You so, you want to sit with them there, tell, and then you, you would, but you I know. That, listen, man, listen, I don't know where you, you listen, know? listen, I don't know where you guys uh located at in the world. I don't know. It's irrelevant. Listen. Avery Irrelevant. tend to do this. Listen, Avery tend to do this when certain things happen amongst Muslims. He don't respect. No, I kicked him out of the room. Well, I told that's him. Not no, no, that's no, not no, true. No, 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 can, can I can I say no, something? No, no. I don't know where you guys uh, located at in the world. I don't know. It's irrelevant. Listen, Avery tend to do this. Listen, Avery tend to do this when certain things. Happen amongst Muslims, he don't respect. No, I kicked him out of the room. Well, I told him. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Can I can I say something? Can I? Wow, King wow. that? So, as soon as as soon as he said he disrespects Islam or mocks when he feels he's basically being mocked or disrespected, get him out of the room. No mm -hmm. way, no mm -hmm. way. Get him mm -hmm. out of the room. But that's he said, he said Avery only does this when Muslims act out against him. When uh, you know, and they don't show respect, and he couldn't even finish his sentence, they kicked him out the room. They kicked him out the room. So Ishmael saying the only time you'll see Avery mocking the religion 
is when you guys mock his religion. When you guys give that energy, he'll give that energy back to you. Kick him out of the room. I kicked him out. He's done. He's out of here. He's out of here. And then you have uh, the other Muslims like Atachi, that 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 uh, that female uh, right here saying, no, 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 that's not true. That's not true. When just a week and a half ago, you was talking to me and saying how I respect you and you never, ever heard me mock your religion, ever. But now you're up here saying that's not true. That's not true. Fake lying snake, smuck uh, scum, you're weak, you're cowardice, all of you, all of these people, your religion makes you weak bums, bro. You're all bums. This is incredible. Hey, shout out to Ishmael, man, for standing his ground uh, in a den of snakes and vipers, man. In a den of snakes and vipers, he stood his ground on his opinion. You know what I'm saying? We have our disagreements on religion, but as a as a person, he's like, Avery, uh, Avery's cool. He's honest. He can't say nothing about that. You know? So, shout out to him, man. What you guys got to say? They kicked him out the room, y'all. I just yeah, like I the fact uh, that, yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, like, even some of the rooms that I've been in him with, like the other night, it was me, you, and Scott, I think. It was late, and we was just, like, talking with him, and it kind of got heated for a minute. But, you know, we, we kind of went back and forth. But even when it kind of calmed down, we were still a little respectful, and I think he was able to appreciate that, you know, and we don't agree on a lot of stuff, like you said, but when it comes to some of the other Muslims, like that guy, I've never really had much interaction with him, but that guy X Planet, it just seemed like they come in there with visceral on purpose, right? And when you respond to them, like, hey, like, yo, like, chill out. Like, they start getting combative and they start crying and stuff like that. But it's like, I mean, what, I mean, what he said is true. And I think that goes for all of the Christians, really. Like, if you treat us with respect, we'll have a respectful conversation with you. Right. But I don't feel like it's the same way with the Muslims. Like it's it's wild, man. I can't believe they kicked that dude for that. Like he was just standing his ground, man. That's wild, man. Yeah. Chris. Chris calls you there. Probably away doing something. Um, yeah, that's what that's what happened. Life, man. We're taking your boy Ishmael, man. Yeah, that's where he got removed at the room. Of course, HK is going to kick him out the room. Like I said, this is a deceiving panel. Everybody wants to be deceivers. I mean, we as Christians, you see how we run ourselves, you know, uh, you see how we run our rooms. You see how we talk talk amongst each other. We we, we not removing people. We not, you know, um, we might interject here and there, but then we'll know how to bring ourselves back, you know, and say, okay, hold on, I might be interjecting a little too much. Let me let you speak. Let me let you talk. And let me let you get your, your point across. Even when we're having conversations amongst each other, it's not, oh, you are going against us, so we're going to have to destroy you, kick you out the room, and then ostracize you. No, it's not that. Let's have an understanding. Let's get a conversation going, and let's figure it out. Same thing we was doing with June yesterday. We all sat there right. and... and, and, and spoke to him and tried to get him to understand uh as best as we possibly could you know what i mean yep um as uh, you know when when he started to show he was getting a little bit hard headed you know we still had the patience some people might have got a little aggressive cuz sometimes it's just hard to take a, you know to handle that you know uh for 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 a long period of time but at the end of the day it wasn't a you know what uh, you're done you know, you're done. Danny was modded. Danny could have got dropped him out the room, stole the room and did anything like he could have did all of that. But he didn't. We all sat there and we still had the conversation, no matter how aggressive it may have gotten. This is yeah. completely different. This is just you disagree with us. You're done. This is this is, this is the, the complete opposite. And they can't even control themselves either. Everyone wants to speak as soon as as soon as Ishmael says something uh, in in uh, in defense for you, it's oh, 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 all you can hear is seven people trying to talk at one time. But then yeah. soon somebody was trying to make a case against you on the other side. It was oh, let's let one person speak. It's complete silence. Yeah, so it's, it's 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 ridiculous, man. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. But this is the religion. This is Ishmael's problem. You know, he's got to deal with these guys on this app. Um, we tried to warn him about these guys on this app uh, before he. We you did. Know, he was starting to get swallowed up by him at first, but then he he he's starting to see the light. These dudes ain't really what they say they are on this app, bro. 
these yeah. Muslim on this app is 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 not right, man. They're not right in the head, and 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 they are starting to deceive and openly deceive and keep people out. See, Islam is it's clear as day what these guys do. It's let's try our best to keep people away from these conversations so they might not ever hear the truth yep. and it's not even it's and, and and for that part that was for me the truth what they're hearing from us is the truth for them on their side it's let's keep them away from those conversations so it won't spark doubt they care about the doubt being sparked. And this is the reason why they act the way that they act, because they're frantic. Their religion is so fragile that if they 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 know when people hear these things, these stupid hadiths and these tafsirs and these verses in the Quran that's explained by scholars, when they hear that from people like us, we're not going to sugarcoat it and we're not going to try to lie about what it says. We're going to tell you exactly what it is. And when they hear that, that's where the doubt starts to spark. And it's like, okay, do I want to be a part of this religion? And then that, so yeah. that's what Muslims like these guys here. This is why they conjure up in these rooms and they openly tell everybody listening, openly tell people on stage, don't go in their rooms. It's, it has nothing to do with them believing that we're speaking the truth or anything. It's just them being scary and they don't want people to uh, uh, have any some, any sort of doubt at all. It's, and this is coming from their mindset. This is what they think. It's all yeah. about not allowing that doubt to flood in any other Muslims' minds. Keep yeah. it closed out. Keep it straight Islam. Keep it straight Quran. Recite, pray. That's it. Well, mm -hmm. These guys shouldn't be doing apologetics then. Don't come into the rooms. Fine. But you know what we're doing. Yep. So, right I up. mean, that, that's that's my opinion on that. I mean, good, 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 great job for Ishmael for going in there and standing up for uh standing up for you guys, standing up for that room, standing up for Zaytun. Um, but you know, I I think he still has a bigger problem to deal with. Uh, like you said, those are the real Muslims. That's exactly what real Islam is. Though, like I said, those are the guys that will get you killed. Those are the yeah. guys that will get you killed. Do you see how they're conjuring? He, he, he said right that. He, yeah. he said that. He said that. This is how people die right here because of what they're doing. They conjure up in their rooms and they all lie to each other to, to the point where they all believe their lies. And then it's all right. Now let's take this to the council and go grab them up. Yeah. It, 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 come on. It's, it's obvious. This is exactly what be taking place. You're yep. seeing this transpire right now on Clubhouse, how people die within Islam. Yep. Uh, shout out to Ed Cruz. Thank you so much for the super sticker, my friend. God bless you. And we also have Hariel again with another gift. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hey, <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you. Um, we're going to play, play this very last clip of this. Uh, well, Christian Warrior has a, a beautiful comment. Ishmael. I pray our Lord and Savior comes to you and shows you the truth. You have eyes, uh, may, may you see, and you have ears, may you hear. Amen, amen, and amen. In Jesus' name, let's all touch and agree on that prayer for Ishmael. Um, <clears throat> I, want you guys to hear, I want you guys to hear them disassociate themselves with Ishmael now after this. Watch this, guys. It's disgusting. But this is cult activity. This is cult activity. One one, what? I think mean, guys time. can educated that in the world. I don't know. It's irrelevant. Listen, Avery tend to do this. Listen, Avery tend to do this when certain things happen amongst Muslims. He don't respect. No, I kicked him out of the room. room. Well, I told That's you. not no, true. No, no, That's no, not no, true. No, wait, wait, wait. Can I can I say something? Can I please say something, guys? He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Yeah. I was going through it. Straight boycott. Straight boycott. I'm not affiliated with you, Ishma. Well, I gave you so many opportunities. I, Listen, I never said anything he wrong him? about you, anything bad. Oh, and and Muhammad asked a beautiful question. I, I apologize, AZ. I apologize. He said that he will not sit around anyone cursing his mother or his sister, but he has no problem when they do this about Allah and his Nabi. So uh, what's the Allah verse says? What's the verse says? Okay. 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 
So if you guys heard it, what Psalm saying, boycott, boycott him, boycott his rooms. Uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 HK and uh, uh, ABC, I believe that was, said, uh, I'm, I, I do not affiliate myself uh, with Ishmael anymore. AB said me either. I don't affiliate, associate myself with, with Ishmael. So they're disassociating themselves uh, with Ishmael, ostracizing him. And now and calling for a boycott of his of his rooms. Um, this is uh, this is what um, this is what Islam is, man. So, wow, um, so they I'm basically really... just. Oh, go ahead. sorry. No, no, you're good. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, so they basically just excommunicated him. Mm -hmm. Like like you said, this is cult activity. Like this is what they do in Jehovah Witnesses. With the Mormons, mm -hmm. if you go against the church, if you talk out against it, if you even have an opinion that's yeah. other than what the elders of the church have, then they excommunicate you and your own family can't even talk to you. This is also what they do uh, within Scientology. If you leave the, the, uh, the, the Scientology church, your own family can't even talk to you. They excommunicate you. So this is, uh, I can't believe they did this just because this guy had an opinion and quite honestly, the opinion was valid. Mm -hmm. Like they don't come in our rooms that often to really see how things transpire. Most of the time, it's like, 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 it's like what he said, you know, we start talking about them or we start saying things about uh, Muhammad when, when they start getting aggressive and getting irate. And what's even crazier is that they'll start doing ad hominems, like attacking us and calling us names, like, like how they always call you, like no logic and stuff like that. Yeah. But we never, we never, I, I mean, like maybe somebody has, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not there all the time, but I, I'm, I'm there quite often. I've never heard a Christian attack a Muslim, like, 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 you know, like call them names and stuff like that unwarranted. Right. Exactly. Most we do is we attack the religion. Mm -hmm. So it's like for them for just come into the room and just start spazzing out and going ham, calling us names. Then when we start saying stuff about about them, they don't keep that same energy and they start crying. To me, that's extremely disingenuous, and I I really do pray for 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 Ish. Like I I really hope that his the scales come off his eyes. I hope he have one of them Paul type situations where on the road to Damascus, you know, and then the scales in his eyes and he finally yeah. see the light, bro. Amen. Uh, we have a prayer for from Danny Davis saying, Ishmael, may the spirit of God open your eyes to the light. Your, uh, your ears to the truth and your heart to his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let's all can agree on that prayer. And everybody in the chat, let's say amen to that. Um, let's lift our, amen. let's lift this, this man up in amen. prayer. And hopefully, like, like, like we've been saying, like God. Amen. To the, to, to Ishmael. <clears throat> this was an experience for him. I'm happy that he experienced it. And, uh, you know, this is the only way people can learn. You know, firsthand. Um, all right. Well, that was that. Um, there is a Danny Davis story that that was that they shared, uh, where they told Danny Davis one time when they came up to speak that he's not allowed to speak about the Quran or or Islam. He's not allowed to ever if he wants to. Speak. <laughs> so if you guys want to hear that really quick, and that that could be it. Uh, so we could have some time for this Chaldean thing. I know Rob is like long winded, so let's see if Rob can keep it. In the video. <laughs> no, that, that that clip is only like I think ten or fifteen minutes. So yeah, How, um, you oh, now have, now it's over fifteen minutes. First it was ten, now it's over fifteen. You don't minutes. you don't have you don't have many Muslim commentators in there. Do you? It's probably just you speaking for fifteen minutes, is it? No, 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 no. It's, <laughs> it, you, you have... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, okay. I've I've I prepared the clip, so whenever you are ready. Oh yeah, yeah, get yeah, get get it ready, get it ready, and uh, that'll be the last thing we do here. I was uh, gonna say, when the state started acting up, uh, brother, the planet dropped, dropped him down. down. I, 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 I told him, "What's this?" Oh, there's an echo. Sorry. the quran i need to uh, an explanation no this is not what avery this is not the business avery engaged in 
it's completely different. Danny Davis, me one time, uh, me and X, we were in a room up by ourselves. Danny Davis wanted to come up on the stage. Uh, he came on when the stage started acting up. Uh, Brother X Planet dropped him down. I, I told him, what's the story? He told me who Danny Davis is. That was my first time. I told him, Danny Davis, if you want to come up, he had his hand up. If you want to come up, come up on our own terms and good conditions. Never, ever speak about the Quran or Islam. We have to focus on the Bible. We believe in Jesus. We believe in the miraculous, the miraculous birth or all his miracles. So that's it. You guys do not believe in Islam whatsoever. Leave Islam on the side because no point on Islam you're going to bring up is the only contention you have about Islam. You don't believe in the whole entire concept of Islam altogether. So now it's either you lying or us lying or both of us. He came up and every time he wanted to talk about Islam, I said, Danny, stick to the Bible. And he retracts himself and stick to the Bible. Now I can have discussion with, with, with Avery coming to my room, coming to my stage, and I am in control. Every time he speaks, I will slap him like a piece of garbage. Every time he wants to hit, he, I slap him in, like a piece of garbage. Forgive me. May Allah, may Allah may Allah, brother Faisal, wallah, even that, I wouldn't give him. But you don't even get a slap, Avery. You don't even get a slap from him. I don't even get a slap, man. It's all right. It's all right. Um, okay. So we got 10 minutes, Rob, until the three-hour mark. Are you sure that we can do justice to this topic in just 10 minutes? Yes. You all just right, let, the, let the clip. Let the clip. Speak for itself. All right, let's get it. All right. Now remind people what this is. So about an hour or maybe now two hours ago, I um, <clears throat> there was a room titled, uh, you'll get $50,000 if you can prove the Quran is not the word of Allah. And uh, I was in there for, I think, 30, 40 minutes. And then finally they brought me up on stage so this is the the snippet um where i was able to ask them my question I, I to be honest this is my favorite this is this particular question i raise about or the chaldeans is my favorite because uh, apart from all the discussions we can have this to me communicates that allah did not know the difference between akkadian or sumerian or ugaritic in relation to hebrew because and and a lot of old testament scholars will will easily point out just pick any commentary that yes you have the hebrew bible but you have loan words from older languages because guess what abraham and noah and all those guys prior to israel none of them spoke hebrew hebrew didn't exist as a language so or the chaldeans is the, the, the word or can either mean city or land or country and how interesting when Stephen in Acts 7, when he speaks about the Chaldean territory, he says the land of the, of the Chaldean. So they get it all right. Then Jews in the second century AD onwards, not knowing the difference between Ugaritic and Hebrew, because guess what? It's a dead language. They thought it's fire of the Chaldeans, because or in Hebrew means fire. So mm -hmm. so it's a, it's a phonetic fallacy that I mean, it's no, it's no fault of theirs because they, they were unaware that, that, you know, originally the word is, it's, it's a trans, transliterated word. It's not a translated word. So they, they made up this whole legend like, hang on, we have examples like in Daniel, you know, the three friends thrown in a fiery furnace and, and we suppose maybe in Chaldea there's a fiery furnace and maybe, well, why did Abraham go into the fire? Well, maybe he, he destroyed some idols. So they've come up with this legend and now I've told Muslims this. I've told them this before. Before, what would what would make me exceedingly um, amazed? You know, like I'll, I'll I'll give credit where credit is due. Is if Allah corrected the myth, if Allah six hundred years later said, "Hey, you know, there's this myth that Abraham was saved from the fire of the Chaldeans." Um, and he said, no, 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 it's not fire, it's a city. That would really be intriguing to me because it's not until the 1800s do we then know 
what or is in its original cuneiform script. No one knew any of those ancient languages until the 1800s. So that would be a genuine miracle in, with respect to the Quran if Allah were to correct the myth. But lo and behold, there is no correction. The Quran happily utilizes that myth, which, guess what, establishes it that the Quran is not the word of Allah, and hence I need my $50,000. <laughs> so I can send it to charity and send it to Avery here as well and other people. <laughs> well, let's, yeah, let's so. see it then. Let's go. All right, here we go. But anyway, Robert, welcome to the stage. Poetic Black, welcome to the stage. Can you guys hear it? Yeah. here for the 50 grand. I'm here for the 50 grand. All right. Go ahead. Okay, so my question to you guys is um, in Surah... No questions. No questions. Make your claim. Make your claim. Okay, well, then I'll say that rhetorically then. My question rhetorically, which is a claim, is in Surah 6, Ayah 74 to 84, and Surah 19, Ayah 41 to 49. Let's and go with Surah first. Let's go with Surah 6. You said Surah, surah number 6, Allah Dam. What Ayah? Sorry? What Ayah? Surah 6? Surah 6. Yeah, by the first verse. Surah 6, Ayah 74 to 84. Wait, your, yeah, your order is... Yeah, I am already on that surah. Uh, surah al Naam, surah number 6. Ayah 74 to... 84. 84, you said? Yeah. So that's 10 ayahs. So I'm I'm referring to all the the ayahs in re with respect to Abraham's story, um, where he yeah, sure. destroys the idols and so on, and he's saved from the fire of the Chaldeans. Um, okay. my issue with the story is that, uh, it's based on a mistranslation of the word or, uh, the word or is not a Hebrew word or Aramaic word. It's an Ugaritic word. Weren't you just refuted like a couple of weeks, a week ago by Sam on this already? Why are you keep bringing up the <laughs> same issue that you because got smacked up on? It, it, no, it wasn't answered. Actually, what? So this this is this is my challenge. Can you verify to me that or means fire and not city? And why does the Quran or? repeat this myth due to or? a mistranslation? What? Okay, okay. If we if we if we do that, are you gonna give, give us uh, already, uh, already been done? If no, you guys if you guys can verify to me that the myth of Abraham being saved from the fire of the Chaldeans is a true story, then I will not use this argument. Okay, we can, uh, we can ask you, we can play the same uh, men mental gymnastics with you. Can you prove to us that uh, the zombies resurrected at the death of Jesus? Is there any proof? I thought this was about proving the Quran false. Yeah, and we can bring <laughs> a challenge to you. About the so, so can you answer that question? Yeah. Okay, why don't we read through it? Because... Uh, I thought, you know, it's all, it's not only about, uh, I guess, I mean, it's all about faith as well, believing that this happened. I mean, yeah, but the, so the, see, the story that he's saved from the fire of the Chaldeans, that Allah saves him from the fire. Where does that come from? Yeah, it doesn't come from any other source except for a second century AD source. Based on, a, based on a mistranslation of a that, dead language. Uh, you're going to, uh, you're going to say that a prophet copy that dead language he did that he did not know how to no 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 i i wouldn't even go i'm not even saying that i'm saying that if if it if the story if it genuinely comes from allah right if the quran genuinely comes from allah then allah does not yeah. know the difference between ugaritic and hebrew you are you are accusing the creator of the heavens and the earth the all-knowing who knows the past present and future Okay. Yeah, he should know the difference between two languages. Okay, so you are assuming that Allah copied it from those languages? No, no, no. No, no, no. The myth what are you arose, talking about, bro? The myth arose due to a mistranslation of the word Ur. The word Ur is an Ugritic word to mean city. 
but Jews in the second century and around the time of Jerome <laughs> mistranslated the, the word or to mean fire. We, we don't, we don't, we don't base. Uh, and so the Quran if Allah then. is the one that's sending this Quran down, if he corrected okay. that myth and said it's a mistranslation, I would be very impressed by that. Okay, let's read through it, shall we? Yeah, go for I it. don't even know what is the issue here. I, I don't no, know. Are, are you saying that? God, these guys are dumb. Okay, yeah, he's, he's bringing is about the name of the city or is that correct yes or the chaldeans okay okay so he's bringing the issue actually of the name of the city or and he's basing it on jewish history or or a second century document like he, he says uh but once again let's read through the through the ayahs through the 10 verses of the quran that that he quoted uh, that we should read and let's and let's find so can you please read it Ahi, because I... and just quickly what they're going to do here now is they're going to do exactly what they did to your your modding friend um mm. in that other stream mm -hmm. they start to crowd around me and yeah just mm. watch of course of course i'm driving the truck right now so it's surah al anam ayah 74 through 84 10 ayahs okay. Go ahead. What is, what is the number? Surah Al-Am. Okay. 74 through 74. 84. Okay. Okay, and remember, just a minute. Wa'idha Ibrahim, okay. And remember when Abraham said to his father, Azar, do you take idols as gods? It is clear to me that you and your people are entirely misguided. Okay, and 77. Then when he saw the moon rising, he said, This is my Lord. But when it disappeared, he said, If my Lord does not guide me, I will certainly be one of the misguided people. 78. Then when he saw the sun shining, he said, This must be my Lord. It's the greatest. Uh, but again, when it said, he declared, Oh, my people, I totally reject whatever you associate with Allah in worship. I have turned my face towards the one who has originated the heavens and the earth, being upright, and I am not one of the polit polities. What is the issue here? I don't know. Okay, the Robert. issue is, what I'm saying is, there are one, two, three, four, five, there's six passages in the Quran that talk about the story about uh, Abraham destroying the idols of the Chaldeans. Yeah, and they talk I, about this in the Bible, in the Torah. No, it doesn't. There's, sure? there's no mention of this about Abraham in the Bible. And so in... No, so in Surah, so okay, is the in Surah, Bible a criteria now? No, I'm not even using the Bible as a criteria. I'm using ancient areas. What are you as using? As okay, you are yeah. using oh, an no, ancient... So, this guy. Oh. Come so, on. so you're what idiot. using that text of the criteria, one right? One second. So Surah idiot. 21, they brought up the Bible. It says, O fire, be thou cool, and a means of safety for Abraham. So here we okay. have Allah saying that, he, you know, that the fire is not going to affect Abraham because according to the myth, Abraham was thrown into the fiery furnace because he destroyed the idols. Okay. Now, okay. that myth arose because of a mistranslation of the word or by Jews a couple of centuries before well, Muhammad. Can you well, prove that? I, uh, I mean, yes, because he, he has no way of proving this. He has no way of proving I, this. I, I he, he's he's had he's yeah. had a similar contention earlier and it was completely like debunked. And then he just kept on repeating yeah, it and repeating it and repeating. Before. Yeah, 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 it was. It was. I was in prison, so then I what was the argument? Well, how was it debunked? You, you, you had a similar argument where you said that uh, one of the stories from the Quran came from a gospel, uh, a gospel tradition, and it's found nowhere outside of it, and this disproves uh, the fact that it's from God somehow. And then we asked you to substantiate that, and you had nothing to stand on whatsoever, and you just kept going around in circles. That's based on your interpretation of the discussion. No, sounds, no, 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 it it's sounds, not at all. It, why don't you guys engage with me with this example that I'm raising? Okay, show me, so show, me that, show me the evidence. Okay, I'm, well, sure that, I'm sure that evidence was yeah, going to go against your own Bible. Did, okay. did oh, any of you understand did. that? <laughs> <laughs> so what, what you're We're halfway to do, through. 
what you're trying yeah. to do is to get them to acknowledge that Allah made a mistake by saying that uh, Muhammad uh, was saved from the fire instead of the city of the Chaldeans. Yeah. I mean, if it's genuine, if it's genuinely from Allah, we have Allah or possibly a demon, which I believe is the case. We know. Uh, you know, giving false information and recounting the same myth. Mm -hmm. It's obvious. Last night you just made the claim, but you never you never substantiated the position. So oh, so there you go. That it's a mistranslation okay, so, and wherever they got it from, like bring all this stuff. All right. So my evidence is that the source for this is in Genesis Rabbah 38, and also in some Targums, and also in the Talmud, uh, and also in Jerome's Vulgate, uh, the Latin Vulgate, where they translate ore as fire. And then they make up a myth that since Abraham destroyed the idols, the Chaldeans then took him and threw him into a fiery furnace because the word that they thought meant fire or uh, that's why it's called okay, fire. Can I ask you, before, so before you continue, they translated okay, okay. so you trust the, that source, Robert, you trust... Who, who's translating? Yeah, what's the source? The reference, Achim. like, come on, bro, you know how to do this? Like, don't just keep Achim, saying let things. Brother, let Brother Ibn deal with it. Achi Shadid, Achi Shadid and Abi Abdul, Abdullah, we've already um, discussed this with this guy. Long time ago. <laughs> oh, my said, God. You got this right, he already in there, so... Now he's bringing it back again. Yep, go for it. <laughs> you got this clown in here? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mustafa Ahmed, the most disgusting person I've ever seen in my life. That's who was just talking, anyway. Oh, I thought it was Shadi Lewis. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still getting to know all these guys slowly. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Robert, stop, stop, Robert, stop, 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 stop. We've Robert, already stop. showed you from the Bible dictionary, or means flames, fire, and we told you that's what it says in Genesis. You said no, or doesn't mean that. I said, well, your Bible's got it wrong. Then the dictionary's got it wrong. The scholars got it wrong. But you insisted. So if we've already given you source to go back to, why are you not going back to the source? Uh, uh, why am I being no money for you today? The dictionary does not agree with you. It doesn't say city. Okay. In the Hebrew, what does it say regarding or? Or, what does it... or in Hebrew when it means says fire, or, but or in Ugaritic means city. Okay, Robert, Robert, I'm going to say it to you this time in English. I what? know English is not your first language. Robert, English is not your first language. You know that, and I know that very well. So I'm going to say it to you in English now, clearly. Listen to me with your ears open. If you've got something in there, take it out. The Bible dictionary that I referred to and I showed you, we gave you reference as well. It says regarding Ur, which is in Hebrew language, Hebrew that the text was written in Genesis, refers to as flames, fire. I don't yes, care what other language you jump to. Or the Chaldeans? Does that mean fire okay. of the Chaldeans? Yes, it means fire. Literally, it means fire of that of that area of that location. Fire that was taking place in that location. Can you show me That's one how the scholar rabbi, that translates or the Chaldeans as fire of the Chaldeans? Yeah, Rabbi Akiva. He said, "Yeah, Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva story. says that." Okay, you guys ready for this? <laughs> yes, yes. yes <laughs> because yes, when he quotes Rabbi so Akiva, it's the exact same guy I'm referring to <laughs> that came up that came up with the myth. <laughs> Go and find right. Rabbi Akiva's right. quotes. Now, yeah, go and now find him. The reason why he's wrong is because the Ugaritic word or... Means... Okay, I'm going to say it to you again in English. Rabbi Akiva is from the first century. He's an Orthodox Jewish exactly, rabbi. Exactly, that's my point, prior to, the he's prior, to the time, prior to the time of Jesus. Uh, probably, most probably before Jesus. Uh, some what say idea? probably before, but around the contemporary. So in this case, Rabbi Akiva, a man, a man... Hold on, let, let me actually switch him for a second. He's going to butt in. Did, Rabbi did Akiva is known to be Jesus? such um, such a, a massive sage in Judaism that even the Talmud says that God spoke to Moses and said, this is my servant, Rabbi Akiva. He's the one who's going to preserve the Torah. Literally, this is what the Talmud says, that God mentions his name. By name, says Rabbi Akiva. Even Moses said, what are you doing, God? He says, I'm, I'm getting these letters ready because Rabbi Akiva is going to deal with them. You know, in, 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 in short, this man, he's, he's saying, oh, Rabbi Akiva got it wrong. Come on, man. What is your problem? Don't deal with that guy, brothers. Well, don't waste your time. He can't get 50 grand out of that. 
we've already debunked him and he's going to bring the same answer. So one, one second, one second, one second. I just want to, I just want to clarify something. So Robert, uh, do you like choose a dictionary written by men over your own Bible? Is that what we're doing here? Are you like throwing that uh, the Bible under the bus and picking like a, a, a dictionary over your holy book? Is th is this what Christians are doing now? Because it sounds very desperate, to be honest with you. I don't think that the uh, and the, do you the, see the, the failure of, of his argument? He's going to another. He's saying thing. that in the Eucharistic, y'all see the failure of his argument. He's saying, but in the Eucharistic, this word, who cares? The book, the Bible is not written in Eucharistic, so that argument is completely irrelevant. So what if in another language it means this was the book, was the Bible written in Eucharistic? No. So like, what kind of argument does that even make for him to say that? And this guy doesn't seem to understand that the Quran has loan words. All texts have loan words, and then you have to transliterate or translate those loan words. That's all it is. As the brother showed you from the Hebrew, it is fire flame etc so what the hell i like i don't even understand what this got to do with anything that's like saying well you know uh in spanish it said in barasada but in in uh, in english it means that you're embarrassed and barasada in spanish means pregnant but in english oh that means you were embarrassed so in the english uh, but the book was written in spanish yeah but in the english in barasada means embarrassed like what the hell the book was written in spanish it don't matter what the English is, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even see the connection other than just to really be desperate to try to find some kind of argument, bro. I'll give, yeah, I'll give you the funniest thing, brothers. Akhi Amir and Abdul, sorry, I have to bite in just quickly. If I say that, brother Abdul, I'm Neil, you can go on. I'll give you something really funny, brothers. As you know, my, my parents, we're from Southeast Asia, my parents are. India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, same people, different language. In Hindi or in Urdu, for hair, you say Baal, B-A-L, right? or B-A-L-L, -L, whatever, not as in B-A-A-L, Baal. But in my dialect, if we're the same people, it would mean actually pubic hair, literally. <laughs> so if someone said Baal to me, I'll actually take it like, mm, okay, I wouldn't use that word. But that is a word that they use. So now if someone said, well, he's Asian and he's Asian as well. Yes, because about their language, they would say that. So in Hebrew, it means something, and in that dial uh, language, it means something else. Halas. So, what seems to be the issue here? Oh my gosh! He finally got it, and yet at the same time didn't get it. He missed it <laughs> completely. So he's acknowledging, if there is an Ugaritic, you know, the the word or in 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 Sumerian, and it's like that's my point, dude. It's not a Hebrew. It's a loan word transliterated into the Hebrew tongue. To give off that the same phonetic sound as the the Hebrew word "or" to mean fire. You know what I mean? <laughs> this wow. is getting crazy. Achi, Achi, uh, Ibn. I mean, uh, I, I thought that he was gonna tell us, you know, that the word "ur" is found in the in that uh, in Surah Al Anam in those ten ayahs from seventy four to eighty four. The question is, I mean, to us, is irrelevant what it means because I mean, the Quran is uh, is not gonna tell us what it really means. I mean, is irrelevant to us. What it means in Hebrew, if Allah says, "Okay, that uh, Ur was the name of the city of where Ibrahim was born," okay, so what? We take it as it is. Halas, we're not going to question it. That's it. <laughs> we're not going to dig into it. There you go. Cognitive <laughs> dissonance, one hundred one, right there. Wow. But it's not there, so I don't, I don't understand. His that. argument is Akhi Abdul. His argument is that the Quran borrowed stories. That's it. it That's is. basically his argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The moment he mentioned the second... Well, I'm not, resource, I'm not even wanting to go I that route, even though I could. I, I'm asking the genuine question, why did Allah not know the difference between Ugaritic and Hebrew? There you Ooh, go. Bro, See what I mean, Akhi? You, you're in, you're, you're <laughs> insulting <laughs> Allah's, Allah's intelligence, man. You're insulting, insulting Allah. I'm not. He's insulting himself. I'm not, because the myth arises from a mistranslation. It's an Ugaritic word. It's not a Hebrew word. Listen, listen. Did I, did I, did you hear what I said? The, to us, it's irrelevant. The Sumerian what word means. or means city. It's, it's irrelevant. A Sumerian word. Okay, what about if you if you marry it with city of fire? Does it make sense too? No, because oh. you have to have multiple words to say fire, and the Sumerian word you know for fire is not uh, or. Okay, okay. Let me ask you a stupid question. I need a stupid answer from you. This so, Robert, the, let's this hear this Kazdeem's, now, Robert. So, right? Kazdim is Chaldean. Oh, so, Robert, as 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 we as I told you last time. I said it's unanimously agreed by the orthodox rabbis 
the ur means fire they've already accepted man. that that's the way it's understood in their language what they wrote down are you telling me that all of those orthodox rabbis and those jewish scholars of the book and even the christian bible and the dictionary etc are all wrong but you're correct is uh, that what you're saying no Just I'm, curiosity. I'm depending on sumerian scholarship because okay fine those, okay so, so you're those, those okay rabbis, so they basically I'll, I'll answer your question those rabbis that you just cited like akiva and so on those are the very rabbis i'm referring to in regards to this mistranslation because ugaritic was a dead language in the first century and all of a sudden it got revived it got revived by and then now all of well, a sudden the, the, we the discovered the cuneiform in 1800s no you've we discovered everything robert robert you know what you do let's stop there for a second <laughs> you think that calm talking we've discovered this and we've discovered that and we've done this and we've done that you've done nothing because last time you exposed yourself you said i was talking to x y and z and i had to do some research and i had to look into this all of this stuff you're pulling out from google my friend you don't have one book that you can show me that you've actually gone through show me a book show me a picture uh, of a book that you're holding physical. Corpus, for example do you, corpus, oh, you have the corpus do you have the physical book do you have the physical book that you yeah. purchase in your hand that you can show me a picture of now you yeah. can't do that can you no i can't and show me no, I can't. you can't then show me the book that you have physically and then <laughs> I, i'll tell I, you to turn to pages easy you take a photo of it and upload it and i'll tell you what page to go to so i'll say go to page 79 and then you go to page 79 so you've read with the Sumerian book. corpus no well I, I don't have to read it i can read it from you you have it though innit? that's what you're saying just you, tell me i have it do online you know, do you know what the Sumerian corpus is i don't have to know because i've all i'm not dealing with it <laughs> but i've already but I, told you I'm what the teacher said the Sumerian corpus. Yeah. how is that relevant to the hebrew language Be because how is that relevant? because abraham was not a jew he wasn't speaking hebrew we're not saying he was a Jew, but it was documented by the Jews. Listen, Robert, you have to he understand one thing. He comes from a Babylonian thing. region. That's wow. Well, was Noah a Jew? Was not uh, Robert? Was Noah a Jew? No. Okay. Was Adam a Jew? No. Okay. So but, what language what, but what is language, the Hebrew? Is what, language what language? language what language? Oh my gosh! What language is the? Is it documented in in the Hebrew Bible? It's documented. It's documented in, in what we call the Hebrew Bible. But there are terms in the Hebrew Bible. Robert, 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 you know what it is, mate. Language. You know what, mate. Robert, your smart talk is not going to work here. You know that perfectly well. You think you're being smart, but your smart <laughs> work talk is not going to work here. It's a I'll tell you why you're not being smart. I'll tell you how it's a question. You've admitted. Okay, fine, guys. Wallahi, by my Allah, this man admitted that the Bible plagiarized from the Hammurabi Code. Wallahi, by Allah. And I'll tell you now. Do you agree the Hammurabi Code came before? the time of Moses and the laws are parallel to the Ten Commandments and Moses and your God took it from the Hammurabi Code. Yes or no? Yes. You agree? Yes. This man <laughs> agrees that his Torah, the Ten Commandments, were copied from the Hammurabi law. Do you know who this Hammurabi law comes from? Pagan society. Damn. Sure. Yeah. And you know what he said? Wallahi, by Allah. By Allah. Yeah, Do you know I, what this guy I'm said? I'm fine with that. Hold on, brother. Don't talk when I'm speaking, mate. You know what? Actually, Wallahi, this man is lost all respect now. He doesn't have no right. This man said, by what Allah, of, this man said. What type of respect should we show God... Mustafa? When he actually messaged a Christian brother in the UK, started talking about his 12 year old daughter and how he's supposed to check if she's menstruated and everything else. I have the videos on my YouTube channel of this disgusting pervert talking about another Christian's kids and wife, yet he's going to come up here and try to talk to... Oh, man, I just... Whew, I'm a mute. Yeah. Mm. And just, just to clarify to anyone, you know, very briefly, like when I said yes to that question, I'm in good company of evangelical scholars, like conservative Christian scholars who work in the ancient Near Eastern context, who are not... Uh, uh, you know, hesitant to affirm that you have. It, 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 in other words, if Israel is going to be a light to the nations, then you have to have laws that have some sort of parallel to the larger ancient Near Eastern context for them to be a light to the nations. It, it's a no-brainer. And then finally, the new covenant in Christ overrules all of it. Yeah, that's Rob, why we're Christian. Yeah, so, but Rob, you have you yeah. have to agree that what you said in that video. I can't accept. You would have to agree with that, right? Uh, you mean you, they literally this... just said they literally just said that our Bible stole the Ten Commandments from a pagan tribe, and you agreed to it. 
Yeah, but that that no, I agree with you on that. that. Like that I, I can't like I support. Right? No, no, no. I agree. I agree with you on that. What I'm what I mean by that is, um, it's it's nuanced, and I won't have the time, you know, on not only in that room but also over here to go through it. But I agree with you, and I do disagree with them the way they polemically worded it that way. But like ultimately, I would say yes, but it's heavily nuanced. But yeah. Well, that was fun and hilarious. So you need to stop with your smart talk, Rob. <laughs> stop with your smart talk and stop with that soft tone. And you know what? You've lost all credibility, man. You know that soft stuff ain't going to work here, man. You, you, you've you lost. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, I'd, I, I'd like to uh, to end it here, man. That was fun. We've had a good time uh, going over showing you guys muslims on clubhouse the muslims on clubhouse how they treat us how they treat each other and then how they treat people like rob who have smart talk this is how they do man uh i i guess they don't like asmr no they do not like asmr that's haram gets on the disc and asmr (laughs) is haram it's haram um but yeah this was this was this was beautiful uh we're man three hours and 20 minutes wasn't the plan but we've had we've had fun so you guys stay tuned for more action that we have coming for you uh be blessed tomorrow we will be having um rabbi eduardo on the stream with us answering rabbinic judaism we're doing a live stream on that so please stay tuned tomorrow that will be 1 p.m eastern standard time 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. Uh, I'm about to set up the stream and so that you guys can hit the notification and be notified and ready for when we get ready to live stream. I want you guys all there already in the beginning. Okay. Uh, we're going to be going over some rabbinic arguments and things of this nature. So he's a, he's an awesome dude. And I can't wait to get into, uh, to you know, to pick his brain a bit. Uh, so, yeah, you guys stay blessed. Um, stay prayed up. Pray for our enemies. Pray for those who curse you and spread the gospel with no shame because it is power to those who believe. Amen. 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 Amen.